Hello everybody and welcome back to Encounter Roleplay. My name is Will, I'm a D&D sex icon and I'm back today with yet another episode of Warhammer The Great Conspiracy. We're back with episode 2. Uh, we have almost everyone with us except for Aunt Charlie, who'll be back with us next week. She's there lurking in the chat. But the rest of us are here and that's the important thing. The show must go on and we have Jim fucking Davis, son, in the DM seat. How's it going, Jim? I, I, it's going great. I'm having an extremely normal one today. Uh, no stress, no, uh, no, you know, just tiredness <laughs> that weighs on you like barnacles underneath a uh, ocean-going vessel. Feeling free and wonderful. Uh, going on vacation tomorrow, actually. Going to see Pruitt uh, again, twice in one month. Lightning will strike. Amazing. Doing great. Let's play some more hammer. Hell yeah. Uh, and of course, we have Pruitt with us tonight. Pruitt, how's it going? Uh, it is going well. Uh, like Jim said, we just got off of an awesome shoot. Uh, so uh, emotions are high and positive and everything's awesome. It's good to get back into some gaming. I uh, can't wait. I uh, had a week off from Warhammer and I'm, I'm feeling it. I got an itch and it only can be scratched with a hammer meant for war. So uh, let's, uh, let's scratch that itch. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, and of course we have Cherry back of us tonight. How is it going, Hi. friend? Good, good. Been getting into heavy role play again, so nice to have a, a little bit of tabletop here for a, for a nice breather. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, remind us who you could be playing tonight as well. Melanie, our doc. <laughs> Resident doc, here to save the day. Uh, well, I guess we had to get around to it at one point or another. Uh, Gareth is here as well. Gareth, how's it going? Yeah, I also have an itch, actually, but I, I don't think I... You no, there's, there's a cream and there's some powder it's, it's and a heat lamp. But anyway, let's, let's not get into that. Oh, uh, I'm really good. To, yeah, I, I'm going to be playing York, who is a uh, just a human. It's weird playing a normal character and not being accused of being a fairy today. Um, so we'll see how it goes. So that, that's also a strong look, Will. I'm just going to say strong look. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I like your look as well going there with the uh, with Charlie's character artwork. Something that I could fix, but I just don't want to. Um, before we get started today, uh, so I already gave you a couple of things. Uh, <laughs> the first of which is, of course, we're sponsored today by fantasygrounds.com, the virtual table of choice here at Gatter Roleplay, upon which we're playing Warhammer, Call of Cthulhu, and Star Trek all in one day. It's crazy. Uh, go over there and check it out. Whaling Games, so code at UK. Is the go-to destination for tabletop board games, war games, minis. I got all our stuff over there. Add up to 20% off the retail value. Last but not least, tabletoploot.com is the place to go to get your dice. They give away a set of dice here on Gatter Roleplay every single show. So stick around to the end, and you could be in for a chance to win. Uh, of course, as per usual, you can interact with today's game by giving players nat ones, nat twenties, wild magic surges, and worse uh, via the chaos chorus. Uh, of you guys there in the chat and uh, retweet that tweets and five subs which we just hit equals a few decisions so uh, before we get into a few decision which I've uh, just thrown at Jim uh, I'll hand over to Jim fucking Davis son <laughs> to remind us of what happened last week on the show last week or rather the last time we were able to uh, get together and play uh, yeah, the party had uh, started out with a little uh, light crime, uh, a little con here uh, and there uh, at the at the Great Park as the Carnival of Middenheim uh, was just kicking off. Um, the party was able to overhear uh, an edict, one edict against uh, cats, dogs, and other nuisances, which meant that there was a bounty on all cats and dogs within the city to start at nightfall on the first night of Carnival. Upon hearing that news, the party returned, afraid for their uh, wolf head that was in the Wolf's Head Tavern, and also uh, having a rendezvous in the early evening with uh, the rest of the Old Quarter gangs to settle a score with some of the Southies who were uh, trying to muscle in on some new territory. So the party uh, had a little dust up in an alleyway where uh, York revealed <laughs> his... Uh, True self, I think, in that he drew blood mm. first and drew steel first. <laughs> and <laughs> but say, thankfully, uh, no one was uh, truly harmed uh, during the encounter, and a few stitches and a good drink, uh, everybody will be patched up. On their way back to the Wolfhead Tavern, our heroes, or anti heroes, or ne'er do wells, or whatever you want to call them, uh, encountered some strange scenes of violence as the crowds of carnival began to round up cats and dogs within the city 
But they also saw some other interesting things. Uh, people with way more animals than maybe they should have for just an hour or so of uh, freedom to catch them. And, and, and rumors of cats in crates and, and barrels and being brought in by uh, great quantities to watch posts almost right at sunset as if they were prepared for, uh, for something. Uh, as the party was sort of figuring out what they were going to do, uh, how they were going to spend the rest of the night, perhaps York and some of the others going out to check on the watch posts, they heard a strange noise in the back of the tavern, a crashing sound. And upon investigation, it was revealed that a dwarf who had a shock of, of wiry white hair and a bright red surgical scar running across his forehead turned out to be Van's father, Ferris. That's where we'll pick up this week. And uh, I do believe we have a viewer decision, yes, as well as some sure like did. wild magic searches that we haven't quite, uh, quite, quite handled. Yeah. Oh man, I should go look those up right now because I probably <laughs> keep blanking on doing this. Uh, does someone have them up where you could just read them off which numbers and who they are and that kind of thing? Mm -hmm. um, I'm uh, I I can certainly do all mine. I I think I've got five outstanding. Yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, <you> <laughs> I can just rip oh, yeah, one I off. As... Yeah. You got him? Good. Uh, yeah, 9488 for York. The next weapon nearby to draw blood knocks its wielder unconscious. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, 7804. The ground now at York's feet is soaked with blood. Oh, I'm in the room with his dad. That's that might work. Mm. Yeah. A magnanimous uh, dispensation. Holy oh, shit, no. Zendy! Well, <laughs> I'll get to that in just a second, my friend. <laughs> I, I need a new cluster me bag, please. <laughs> damn it, Zen. <laughs> uh, uh, your grabber. I keep trying to say Tom. Uh, Tom, York. No. Uh, was him free you start dancing and can't stop until you are struck by magic Oof. <laughs> so <you're> dancing <laughs> like in a puddle of blood mm -hmm. <laughs> your father's blood technically father's blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit that's good well, um what are you doing york <laughs> I, I i just it's... can't stop i, I... <laughs> It's you like right? it's, 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 it's some of those drugs y'all took. Really, it's so what it is. Good. It's a bad reaction to some of those drugs that, that uh, Jerry he had. He was gonna be the <laughs> mild one in the group. Okay. <laughs> now this this next wild magic surge without any hyperbole, I think maybe my favorite wild magic that we've ever had in Warhammer. Chaos Chorus. Holy shit! Thank you for this. Um, York realizes that he murdered. The one D ten people who were closest to him. <laughs> I want to take that like relationship. <laughs> you know, like you, you kill everything you love. Fuck me. <laughs> That's so good. And then. <laughs> I love the fact that that's you hanging around with Jim Davis, but that's now your favourite one, Will. Jim fucking Davis, sir. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Uh, and the last one for you is the next magic item that you handle is etched with your fingerprints. Hmm. That's interesting. interesting. Okay. Uh, now, the Toddbringer, I think this may be the last one I've got to do, is 6160 uh -huh. for old Boris Toddbringer. He is pelted by tiny red hot coals for 1d4 rounds. Maybe he's got some kind of rash. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And Zen, thank you so much. So much for that donation, my friend. Appreciate Goodness. it. <laughs> Holy Oof. moly. That's some wild magic, so kick things off. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Zen. Alright. Holy moly. <laughs> I, I think I am currently right now. By the way, I think that I am waiting in the pub while the others went in. I just left. It was a one d ten as well. One one d yeah, ten people that I could. Yeah, it was <laughs> a ten. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's the cousins. <laughs> we <laughs> this is a great conspiracy. This is a great conspiracy. Daddy just killed <laughs> Molly. Molly, are you all right? <laughs> yeah. So, okay. 
this is what the, you think that you've killed them or like you're just like suspected you, i have that you have you were responsible for it so that's basically yeah my entire traveling family i've murdered somewhere that's like a fire oh. maybe like set a fire and it got out of hand and they all died or something yeah. Or you just, or you just fucking I mean, killed I mean, them. You're, like, it could be, it could be like, a, yeah, it could be a magical incident or something. Um, you know. I like that. We'll play. Yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll see what fits. We'll, we'll work it out. out. Yeah. You, that, it's, it's out there now. Yeah. The last, the last game, <laughs> the World Magic Surge about my twin sort of happened, and then we ran out of it. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Yeah, it's out there now. Um. So yeah. So York has this. I don't know. Uh, some sort of reaction to something. Uh, a nervous breakdown. Uh, a bad trip. Anonymous dispensation. Um, begins, Holy uh, dancing shit! Dancing which reveals Zen? the blood. Whoa! Wow. Three hundred pound donation. Holy <laughs> fucking shit! Can we get some hype there in the chat? Oh, he does that. Hell. I'm sorry. Oh, he does that. That's the thing he does. That's the thing he does. Just, just trust me. <laughs> oh, you're, you're welcome here, Zen. Come on in. <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that happens. Um, so if you don't know, there are donation rewards so you can make shit happen in the game. Crazy shit happens. Kill my family. Uh, not, not kill, kill your family. Not. Just <laughs> end his life. Kill your <laughs> family. Yeah, I, feel family I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Kill, kill the family dogs. Uh, oh, uh, love oh, no. <laughs> Zen is probably yeah. going to give you thir 30 dogs now, and you're going to have to try and kill all <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. What, 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 what if that's what it was? York was traveling with a pack of dogs that kept him safe, <laughs> and then he killed them all. And this, this whole thing, traveling through the neighborhood, like, where all these cats and dogs are being, like, there's, like, because y'all just have come back from, like, traveling across half the neighborhood, like, howls and yips and meows and scratches and all that kind of stuff as they're just, yeah. like, being, and you can still hear it, right? It just, right. like, all of that cacophony gets to you. are giving it away. Mm -hmm. He wants you to it mess. He somewhere. wants you to mess with me, is what sends him. Yeah, in. just go <laughs> crazy on Cherry. <laughs> Jim. God damn it. All right. All right. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Wait, 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 uh, there we go. Oof. All right. I got all things anyway, to stop. I, I, yeah. I, I think Jerry is going to come in to figure out what the hell they're doing. So I'm going <laughs> to read myself up a little bit here. Uh, I, I will kind of uh, to pull this back on track. Who, who the fuck is that van? I can't dance. Why the fuck am I trying? That's that's a mistake. <laughs> I, oh Jesus fucking crazy. I went straight to the dad ice cream dance. That's not gonna work. Um, no. I, hey. I'm kind of two stepping in the blood. Who who the fuck is that? Why does he look a, look a little bit like you? That's uh, that's my father. Oh, dad! And he'll start shaking and, and he'll yell out, Melanie, get back here! I'm Scream I'm right Mel. here. Oh Jesus oh. Christ! <laughs> Forgot. It's fine. Oh please, Lord! Please, please look after. What the fuck is going on in here? I'm gonna just barrel my way into the place. That's his dad. What the fuck is that? His dad. That's my dad. Dad. Ah. And I'll, I'll just kind of be like doing that thing that you probably shouldn't be doing with someone who's injured, but like grabbing his shirt, like shaking him, like like just so like <laughs> he's out of it. You Hollywood. He's clearly him. disoriented <laughs> and, and on the on the edge of consciousness, and uh, you know, sort of like that. And by the the sounds of it, has lost some blood, uh, and and maybe some of that uh, the wetness on his clothes that you mistook for muck was actually his own uh, his own blood your dad's okay and is his his hair and beard still all <laughs> shaped no it, it's grown back in and and it's sort oh. of like wiry white now you don't recall it being white you recall it being lustrous and mm. and uh mm. and you know full and, and you know he was a dwarf in, in the prime of his dwarven life yeah when uh when you last saw him and does not look uh he looks much older uh now at the homestead they Still sing songs about his lustrous mane. What, Dad? Ben, Ben, do 
you have to take me back there. We must rescue. We must rescue my my friend. <clears throat> and he looks around and uh, yeah. where are we? Midnight. We're at the, at the wolf's head. Wolf's head. Where is Midnight. It? You, that's where you sent me to school. Oh. oh. And he, he seems relaxed a little bit, or more relaxed. At first, he's kind of like backing off who are all these strange people. Mm. Uh, and he's like, oh, oh I, think I, I think I tore open some stitches. <clears throat> and he just sits where down his back against a barrel. Where were you? Where did you think you were? Oh. oh. I, uh, I, I thought I was, uh, I thought I was back in the Undercity for a minute. But I came from the Shalian Temple, their infirmary. Wait, 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 wait up here. Your fucking dad crawls out of the ground and is and is some fucking bad stuff's been going on. <clears throat> How'd you get here? How'd you find your way here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Melan Melanine would probably start checking him over while they're chit chatting. <laughs> and he uh, I uh, You know, I, I knew I'd, I knew this is where we'd sent you. Son, I, I, I didn't know it was this place. I had to had to ask around, uh, and he, he kind of looks about. He he's got fresh bruises on him, um, you know, just kind of looking at. Particularly, um, mm -hmm. Melanie, as you're, uh, you're checking fine. out. Give me um, an intelligence test. If you have any kind of like medical related skill, you can use that as uh, well. I don't know where my sheet But he's still clearly like disoriented and, <clears throat> and you know, the eyes aren't focusing on anything. Uh, how about everybody else? So, so York, you're, you've got, you're, you're uh, dancing uh, and I, Jerry, I you said you were... A, I'm kicking his blood up against the wall. What and the fuck are you doing, York? First you stab a guy and next you dance in people's fucking blood. It, it's kind of pretty when you splash it and kick it, do you not think? Hey, York, you're not the man I thought you were. You're going down a dangerous path. Now, fill, fill dad's dad's this blood. <laughs> and uh, I'll be right back, Dad. I'll be right back, and I'm go take my mug and go fill it up with some meat to bring to him. <laughs> <laughs> you will cool, like not miss this opportunity, and I'll kind of kneel down to speak to uh, Van's dad. If you think you're hurt now, you should see how much of your fucking money he's wasted in this fucking town. And he's achieved absolutely fucking nothing with his life. <laughs> and then, like, this guy probably didn't hear it, but he's been waiting to fucking say that for uh, quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> you like, get down in his, uh, in his face and tell him that, or, like, just say it from across yeah, the Yeah, no, room. right close to his face, with a real uh, evil fucking smile on it as well. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Oh, I think you can put, let's try, uh, this cherry slice, slash die, and then D. Thank uh, you. One, yeah. one D. Okay. Sorry for that. Um, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me try you, got used, you got used to my GTA commands. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a D&D &D character over there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He he uh, he meets your gaze, York, for just a half second. But he's he winces in pain as as Melanie starts to uh, to sort of patch him up and, and, and look him over and the like. Um, and so Jerry, you've come in. Um, you guys, have no, uh, uh, Molly is nowhere to be uh, seen in the tap room or uh, back here in the back rooms. Ah, <clears throat> back runs away all the time. I'll keep an eye on it. York, stop fucking dancing. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just in a good mood. What? <laughs> it's probably <laughs> the adrenaline from earlier. And I, after... I looked down. Yeah. Go ahead. I, no, I, I just, just got I'm just energy gonna... to burn. 
I was just gonna shout at his dad a little bit, but it's all good. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, I would probably look for Molly for a bit and realize she's probably found some soapbox to get up on and, and start preaching to the masses. So he'll just get behind the bar and fill up the meat and come back uh, and kind of push York out of the way. It's like, stop splashing blood all over my father. It's, it's, not, it's not polite. And, and here you go, Dad. And just kind of like, like pour him some pour him some mead. <laughs> I... Did he just let himself in? That like, is, no, there's he no kicked in the back door. Kicked in the back door. Okay. Yeah, that's what it looks Smashing like. Right, it's all like back doors, mate. Uh, broken off. It's, uh, it's hinge. All right, it's well, locked. All right, Van's dad explain to me in simple words why you are here and what went on where you was. <clears throat> He, uh, vis -a -vis ign what happened? He ignores <laughs> Jerry and looks at Van and, and tries to stand up. Van, we have to leave. They, I told, so I, I talked to people. They, they know I'm here. We have to leave. Talk to who? I, the who carnival, knows? the gentleman outside with the beer tent. Uh, several streets over, many people to, to find you. It, we, we cannot stay here. They know I'm here. Who's after you, mate? Those selfies again? I'll fucking kill him. Who? He will. I'm part of York. The fucking selfies. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, look, it's like he's, he's like, I don't know. No, uh, no sou selfies. Who's uh, after you then? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I tell you what, why don't we, why don't we, why don't we go somewhere? Let's, let's go to the college. Guys, come on. We can go to Thank one of, one of the, uh, like maybe one of the forges and get in there. Should be no one in there at this time of night. Ari can go to uh, one of the infirmaries if you think he needs more patching. I got case. Well, if they know they injured him, they might look for him there. Fair enough. Yeah. I'll grab my bag. That's, that's small, that is. Yeah. Get to I learned that Don't want to fuck it up my place, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Learn that my that's, son, son, yeah. that's real good. That's real good. Yeah, he's real smart. He's been in college for like 12 years or something. It took your uncle 37 years to get through college. That's <laughs> 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 you know, when y'all realize, the realize Van is the bright uh, bulb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, and he uh, he limps along sort of like bloody footprint and you know, he's dressed in like his underclothes uh, like um and so you guys are leaving the tavern and going to the like the workshops at the where the dwarven's yeah. uh, okay, yeah, yeah. the engineering uh, school is. Is yeah. is there um, a quieter way I can steer us in? Because the town has gone to absolute shite. Yeah, um, like you so, can hear it from outside the broken door. It's <laughs> it's a cacophony of, of just uh, drinking and partying and uh, pet murder. <laughs> pet murder. Uh, we should we should probably try and steer clear of anywhere there might be a bunch of animals and groups of people in town and everything like that. We need to try and stay low. Yeah, Gary, well, that means that means avoiding try and people. Don't dance any fucking blood, mate. <laughs> yeah, for fuck's yeah, sake, you, York, clean yourself you might, up. Yeah, please <laughs> uh, don't 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 lead us where we're going until you clean up. You'll you'll just leave a trail. They'll be able to follow. Uh, I, I yeah. like grab his cloak and wipe his father's blood onto his cloak. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I ruffle his hair. <laughs> ben, ben just narrows his eyes at, at York. It's like, we'll, we'll discuss this later. <laughs> Um, we better make sure your father doesn't die and, and get a move on. He has to see me graduate. Come on, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> there is a um, there is a a I don't know. It's not that far to the engineering school. It's sort of like near the edge of the uh, Freiburg and some of the other uh, surrounding neighborhoods. So you don't have to go that far. You don't really, you don't necessarily have to take any of the main roads. Um, 
but you know it's up to you which way you go you could go to a main road more people on it but it's more direct or you could try the back alleys um where there's less people but might take longer uh everybody going or is it just uh van and his father uh, I f- figure Melanine would be making sure he doesn't die. <laughs> Nothing else <laughs> interesting happening around here. Yeah. And I always yeah. like and meeting people's parents. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go. Any chance to make Van kind of look bad in front of his father to get one up on him? Oh, just just you wait. My father will tell you the story of the, of the card piece he made the Todd bringer. It was glorious. You could see it from a mile away. I should call him the Codbringer. <laughs> Codbringer, yeah. yes. Jesus <laughs> fucking yes. Christ. <clears throat> yes. I had, to, had to expand it. Uh, just... <laughs> Van, what weapons do you have here? In your tower? Uh, oh, uh, well, uh, <clears throat> I have... I have my hammer. I know how to use it. I remember what you taught me. Uh, uh, pistols in the workshop. Pist- mm. Yes. And the rest of you have been in a s- scrap. He just stabbed we'll someone earlier it. today, mate, and then he started dancing in your blood. Yes, he seems a, a vicious feel? sort. That's mm. no, the can, worst. <laughs> I can handle myself, but I mostly have to make sure Nenny a fucking day, all right? What are yeah. you so worried about? How, how are you going to be sure we need weapons? Yeah, who's after you, mate, then? Now we're here in the fucking forges. Who is it that's after you? The southies? The guard? The uh, northies? Uh, the westies? No, the no southies? Or, or none of the gangs. Southwesties. I don't know about the watch if they've gotten to them yet. Uh, <clears throat> the the shell, shellions are, are after me. The nuns. Fucking nuns are after you, mate! <laughs> <laughs> you hey, fucking yes, Of course, they're, they were on the infirmary. They wanted to bring me back there. Why? This is why I escaped. And he just, like, we must go find Roald Van. We have to find him. He can't be left there alone. And he just starts going off and, and, and getting increasingly louder. And left, uh, no, no, Van, Dad. please, we must. Dad! Dad! Dad. Mm. Uh, yes. Where, where is, where is, where is he? This friend of yours. He's at the temple. Right now. What were right they now. trying to do to you? They, they wanted to make us forget, for us to disappear. Forget. And he what? like draws in on himself, and you see him like get almost like small. Uh, What did they want to make you forget? There's... There's something in the Undercity. Man. Rold knows oh more. <laughs> and he... He, um... He see, he's, like, ignores... He's, like, tries to avoid your gaze and, uh... uh not say, uh... Not say much. Um, so yeah, it was a quick trip uh, to the forges, like I said, and um, Van knows the way in. Uh, you know, nobody's here. Everybody's at Carnival. Uh, Carnival is one of the few times that nobody cares if you're an elf, a dwarf, a halfling. They, you know, you can go anywhere you want, drink anywhere you want, that kind of thing. So these, uh, the place is empty um, and secure enough. It's just the uh, five of you in here. <clears throat> uh, York could kind of pull Van to the side for a second. Listen, w- we may have had our disagreements, but real talk here, is, is, is he normally like that? Well, no, I mean... Uh, no, no, I... D- don't be embarrassed. Towards the end, my, my ma got a little bit fruitcakey, but he does not look well. No, he doesn't. Uh, I mean, no, York realized I... I have not seen him in 30 years, at least. He, uh, he took the Slayer's Oath, sent me off to school, s- along with all his money to help pay for my schooling, and I haven't seen him since. So, I, the fact that his hair's grown back is one thing. I mean, 
Uh, from what I know of the dwarves and this oath, it's that's it. You know, you shave and you go find battle and death. I honestly never expected to see him again. Seeing him in this state, I don't know. Something's going on. You you may have to face the facts sooner or later that maybe your your old dad up there is not all up there. That's a toss crossed my mind. But I think it's worth investigating. Maybe see if his friend is at this this infirmary. Probably shouldn't uh maybe I shouldn't go. I might be recognized. We do bear a likeness. I mean well, I need it fit right, right in there. Maybe, maybe hey. I could go with her and, and take a little look around. But York, I know. Uh, like you said, we've had our differences, but I would take it as a kindness. You could help me out here. I understand. Fam- family's key. Nothing more important than family. And he gives him a kind of warm smile. Yes. Yes. He's all the family I have left. I'm going to lean into to Melanine as they're having this chat and say, What the fuck is he on about? With the nuns. He don't, he don't know. He, you know, he has a, a Templar or two from time to time, but uh, it's more of a passing, making appearances shit. I don't know what the fuck you could be talking about. You ever heard of a nun hurting someone? No, typically not. <laughs> I mean, it depends on the god, I suppose, but... Yeah, alright. Last question. Hey. Typically, on average, how hot is a nun? Because oh, I just can't Christ. see behind the thing. I've always watched Bang One. I, I, you know, you can figure that out, Jaron. I don't go chasing around nuns, thank you. Jesus, dar. They're fun, <sighs> Uh, well, you can, keep, you can keep wondering because I don't fucking know. <laughs> I took turn back to Van and his dad. <laughs> Alright, so, so what's going on then? Nuns? Go find the nuns then. I'll oh, find some yeah. nuns. I've got some work myself to be doing there. Yeah, so you, y'all know right. that the, the temple of the temple of Shalia that, that Ferris is referring to runs a public infirmary and orphanage. Uh, what what amounts to like a soup kitchen? They sort of like run the uh, sort of social welfare of the city, basically through donations. One of the largest donors is the Physicians Guild, uh, which is uh, tied to the uh, tied to the, uh, the the nunnery there. And so it's like a sort of a known thing. Like the nuns, just you know, you go there when you need a healing or a disease treated, or and they give it to you for free or, or for nothing. Right? It's a everybody loves them. They're they're, they're, they travel throughout the poor sections of the city, uh, you know, helping people. So um, it's not a. This is like he's talking crazy. So do you want do you want me me and Mel to go check this out and you try and get some sense out of him, or, or should we all go to together? Very, it's your call. Well, I, I guess Van, it's yours as well. Yeah. Okay. Right. Don't really want to leave him alone. I don't want to leave him alone. You can stay with Do. him. We can go check it out. Chat with him, see if anything else comes up. What, uh, Dad, Dad, what was the name again of your friend? Rold? <laughs> your friend's what? name at the, at the, at the infirmary. With the infirmary? Your friend's name. Yes. Don't, no, don't go there. Don't, don't, don't. Why? And he just like uh, again uh, shrinks in on himself. And uh, now I want to go. Uh, everybody except for Van, make me a perception uh, test. Would. What shall we do here? That is a success. Wow. <laughs> Uh, 49. Let's see. That was, uh... 
Hey, I got like success as well. Sweet. Yeah, just looking for a straight success on this. Um, and so, both uh, York and Jerry, as uh, all this is sort of going on, and, and Van seems, or sorry, Ferris seems to uh, just have these wild mood swings. You both notice that um, through one of the smoky, sort of greasy windows in here, you can see two uh, figures kind of walking outside, very close, uh, and maybe trying to peer in to what's going on. Oi, psst. Marcus, look, over there. There's two people. Could be selfies. You know From where we, we saw these figures, could, we, could they see uh, Van's dad? Um, no, but they could see you, right? Like he's ducked down. He he's sort of like uh, shrunk down and, and cowering. He's found a like a box or a workbench or something to hide under. Um, but I, you know, maybe. But everyone else, I guess, is kind of standing around. Um, there's eight or so workstations in here. It's a large open room. Um, this is the ground floor. Second floor has more individualized rooms, offices, but there's plenty of cover in here where you're at. Um, at at uh, at them uh, not nodding towards like the window. Van will like look around and maybe on a hook uh, near one of the workstations. There's like a like a leather apron, mm -hmm. and he'll just kind of take that and drape it over his father as his father's cowering down. Mm -hmm. Um. And uh, just to kind of cover him up. Okay. I'm in space for a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in space. <laughs> <laughs> a shot. Um, uh, like, all right. So, go ahead, York. Uh, York's gonna kind of back away, and I don't really know this building, but would there be a way that I could maybe get the drop on them, or just get a view of them, without being so obvious? Yeah, so there are uh, two two ways in here. There's a large set of uh, like double doors. It looks like they're used for bringing in like large boxes and stuff. And then a smaller door that y'all came in through. Uh, it looks like they were headed towards that smaller door. So there's any any number of places around there that York could hide. Yeah, I'm going to kind of move over there and try and get a peek of who this is. Okay, why don't you go ahead and give me a, a stealth roll for that then. Anybody I'm else who's, who's going to hide? And and also, Van is going to like go over to one of the lockers where they have like the pistols and all that, um, the finished products, and uh -huh. get a pistol and you know shot and powder. <clears throat> three degrees so degrees of failure for the, me. Oh, three degrees for that. Uh, and then so the um, just we'll get to York in just a second. So the the lock boxes where they keep all of the uh, shot and everything, those are upstairs. So you can get a pistol, uh, which is in the downstairs, uh, you know, work lockers. But the actual like shot and uh, and ammunition for it is upstairs, which will take some time to get to. But you know, Van knows where it is. Yeah. Well, he'll go ahead and grab a pistol and put it in his knapsack. Okay. Gotcha. And. All right, and then uh, you said that was how many degrees of failure there, York? Uh, because three. the room is shadowy. Three. Uh, let's see. <laughs> would have been an easy task. Uh, what does plus forty give you then? Is that enough? Uh, to... That would. That would give me. You guys have a little lamp. This is just like the sh shadowy light from outside that's getting in. That, here. that would put me to a degree of success. Okay, so one degree of success. Degree. Uh, how about uh, how about uh, Melanie and Jerry? Is this stealth um, Looks like York has gone after uh, uh, trying to hide where he thinks that they're going to enter. Uh, Van has grabbed like a pistol. Yeah, they look, they look like, like they're, they're on the way towards the door. Mm -hmm. Jerry's like the kind of person to hide, so uh, okay. he's going to meet them at the door. All right. Melanie would maybe go to a workstation, act like she's working or something. Okay. She wouldn't necessarily hide. Okay, and then Van, you've got the pistol. What? Uh, uh, yeah, actually, is Van is he's just gonna be like, "Fuck it," and he'll like cock it and have it ready, have his hammer in one hand and a pistol in the other, and if, if need be, like maybe try to bluff uh, these people by pointing a pistol at the. You know, he's just gonna use it as a ruse. Okay, 
But he's um, kind of readying himself, but not really hiding. Gotcha. So you're actually the only one that's hiding. Jerry's in plain view. Everyone else is sort of to the side, not uh, attempting to conceal themselves. Um, and you can see them now uh, that they're sort of pointed out to you as the two of them pass by another window and then another one and then get to the door where York is uh, is at. And you can see them like try the handle and and there's, they, they notice that it's locked and you can see, you can uh, sort of hear one of them shoulder up against the uh, the door and there's a hushed whisper from the outside. <laughs> I'm gonna call out, hello, hello, ladies. <laughs> Um. Uh, we we uh, uh, we, uh. Is there a dwarf in there? With you? A dwarf. White hair. Here. Dwarf. Old dwarf. Why the fuck would there be a dwarf in here with me, mate? Who who the hell are uh, you? There's an engineering guild. We, we, uh. Um. We we just wanted to talk to him. <clears throat> uh. And there's more hushed wh hush whispering. Uh -huh. is, is, can we make out right. any of it? Uh, you can try if you're close. If you get close enough to the door. Uh, so far, yeah. York's the only one close enough to uh, to make uh, the attempt. Van's gonna move up, move up to the door. He's his curiosity is getting the best of him. He's not really being yeah, very I, smart about yeah, this. Uh, that's a massive failure for me being able to hear. Um, All right. Yeah, you, just, you can tell that they're saying something, but not what they're saying. Uh, yeah. Unless that roll will take me back in time, no. Uh, I don't hear what he's saying. Uh, can nope. I peep through the keyhole and see how many of that? Uh, can I see any figures the other side if I... Uh, yeah, so in the shadowy light, you see two figures. They're dressed in carnival motley. Uh, you know, just uh, colorful rags tied to their uh, outfits. Great, great big slashed sleeves and, and bright colors. Um you know, feathers in their hats and, and capes and the like, like everybody else around here. Um, but you, the angle is such that you can't really see what their faces or masks would look like. Uh, is Van, are you next to me now? Uh, yeah, I'm probably pretty close up to by the door. He was moving up to try to really I'm listen. probably close to the door as well. York will uh, reach across to Van and he'll untie his cloak and then he'll wrap it up in a bloody bundle where he wiped all his feet and everything on uh, <laughs> roughly the size of a cat or small dog uh, mm -hmm. and I'm going to mm -hmm. show everyone I'm going to open the door uh, and I'll slowly open the door and I'll be holding this bundle okay uh, uh, so I'll open it where it's just can see me to start with I'll crack the door open but if you guys want to make yourself known as well uh, and I'll open up the door and I'll question who the fuck these people are who the, who the fuck are you Oh. <clears throat> From the engineering guild, didn't you hear him? We're just, uh, uh, we're just, right, we're looking for a dwarf uh, from, uh, we, we heard he had come through here. There's no fucking cats in here. I, I got them all and I kind of mimic like you're the not, bundles moving. Uh, you're not getting our cat. We don't want that cat. That's fine. That's fine. What? Uh, what, do, what does this dwarf look dwarf? like? Hmm? What does he look like? He's uh, sh short and got uh, white hair, short beard, and you just older, described older every dwarf. old dwarf that exists. Why? Well, well, I, I just you know he, he doesn't look. He's like older than you. Uh, and then you see one of them whispers in the other's ear. Uh, the one who isn't talking. Uh, Speak up there, fellow. We, we couldn't hear you. You're shy. No, no, no. Uh, is there a, uh, is there a, a, perhaps another dwarf with you? Or maybe you saw someone come in to the guild that you didn't realize? You, you don't, you look a bit funny to be looking for a dwarf. Do you, do you work here? Hmm. Um, I don't really uh, enjoy. Uh, uh, Y'all go ahead and give me some uh, fellowship rolls real quick. To I guess either charm or or uh, whatever it is that you're trying to. Uh... Uh, well, I'm gonna ask him to do. Uh, one uh, like a is there a minor failure? Just a less than ten mm -hmm. failure. Yeah, I got yes. one of those. Yeah. 
I horribly oh. failed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're 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 just uh, <laughs> looking so for a dwarf. Right. They, they seem to like compose themselves and find their, uh, you know, find their uh, confidence. No, we're looking f- we're looking for a dwarf who who came through here, and not you, but one like him. Mm. Perhaps someone was mistaken. Sorry to disturb you. Well, hold on, hold on just a second. That's not just being carnival. You are using this chance to hunt my kin. Hmm? Is that what you're all about? What's that? Looking for dwarves to beat up on? Uh, not like, beat up on. He's uh, no, no. Uh, listen, gentlemen, you, you're obviously tired. You've been looking for a while. Do you, you ever interested in your fortunes? And I'll pull out my deck of cards. Have I you been down inside. the temple recently? <laughs> they start to back away, <laughs> like Cherry comes out. I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'm gonna start Dan, walking you out. Do you still have your pistol? Your, yeah. Oh no! Like, Dan's got like, his. Like, I've, been, I've been sitting here tapping it on my shoulder, like. like uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and they start to back away. Um, they're about maybe, I don't know, six or seven yards in front of you, or meters in front of you. And yeah, Van will pull it down and kind of tap it on his hand. Not pointing it at them, but pointing it mm-hmm. more near them than away from them. <laughs> now hold on okay. just a second. I bowl out. Oh, you... Yeah, Jerry comes out. <laughs> I'm right next to Van. We didn't want any trouble. Well, certainly seems like you found a pit, doesn't it? Mm. Don't take kindly <laughs> and... to those hunting down my kind. Uh, and they bolt for the crowds of the main street. Um, I'm grab if one. you want to I'm go for one. <laughs> All right, let's make an opposed initiative. Then. <laughs> I'm just fucking going for it. <laughs> okay. Um, also, my wild magics, real quick here. Um, first one: the scent oh, yeah, of honey and time. roses permeates everything within fifty yards. Hmm. Smells good, man. Nice. That's a good. One. Okay, and <laughs> 7,035. Target's clothes are soaked with icy water ev- once every 1d12 hours. I clean myself. By throwing water on myself. Sweat. Just, just wakes up in a cold sweat. Once that you can combine a, a clothes washing and a bath. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Uh, initiative uh, is... It saves time. Back to a d10, right? Yeah, I got no degrees of success, but uh, uh Oh it's it's Oh yeah, no, sorry, it's in the, it's, one it's one of your stats. Yeah, it's one of your stats. Uh, yeah, I uh one degree of success? Wow. Uh, you beat you you just beat him by a hair. Um yep. Fantasy Grounds hates me today. Oof, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, others the others it looks like they got the drop on you in our uh and we'll uh, we'll get to rush forward before, but Jerry, you managed to uh, act before one of them uh, can go. Um, yeah, what do you do? I am going to leap after this man, and I'm uh, probably going to lob something at his ankles, just like a brick or like something that I just <laughs> I just have. You know, he just like he just has a brick. You know, you don't know where he got it from, but like he has one. <laughs> he's just he's that level of lout where he just like has shit on him for no apparent reason. Uh, but you he's never got know when you get a brick in a stocking yeah, just, or, or to throw, throw someone's window. <laughs> it's just, it's got, just got the words Jeffrey written down the side of it. <laughs> I've got a lot of brick for him. Okay. Uh, just okay. Let's go ahead uh, and make me a. Um, a ranged attack, then. We'll call it that. So get... <laughs> it's actually a success! <laughs> <laughs> well, well there you go. All right. Uh, how head. many degrees is it? I figure uh, uh, it's flat. Weapon. It's a, yeah, it's flat on. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, flat so on no degrees of so success. Uh, there we go. Uh, <laughs> it's going to do, like, probably... Uh, Probably like a damage once all of the uh, once his toughness and everything is factored into it. So you like smash into it, and it kind of like it, it causes him to stumble just enough that if you if y'all wanted to get up to him and grab all of him, you would be able to. He's he's uh, tripped up momentarily, but not enough to knock him down. 
um, right. His, I just want to slow, uh, his, yeah, I just want to slow yeah. him so I can get up to him. Really, I think. Yeah, really, um, he's like running. And knock the brick knocks one foot into the other, and he kind of stumbles. Yeah, yeah. Um, pushes Fucking his friend him. into the crowd, and um, the other friend goes darting into the to the uh, crowds while he's kind of scrambling and still on the edge of the crowd. Uh, and I, I guess it's now uh, uh, both York and Van. Uh, you guys can go. Um. Van is going to run, like try to run and catch up to him, and just just put the put the pistol like right under his 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 jaw. And be like, I was shaving this shot for a particular dog that bit me last week, but I will use it on you. Don't struggle. Mm. And just start pulling him up to like pull him back into the workshop. And like okay. looking around, making sure nobody. I mean, everybody's getting drunk, so hopefully nobody. Saw everybody's this. there's like two or three people that look at you, but they don't like. They just assume it's another, you know, somebody settling a debt or, or something like that. Shouty uh, business. <laughs> so is, is he got his hands up and he's like not paying attention? Well, he's got his hands up. York's got, uh, or sorry, not York, but Van's got the pistol underneath his chin. Uh, his buddy has ditched him, um, and he's like not fighting back. York will, uh, so he's on the floor, or is, did he fall over? Uh, yes and no. He's sort of like on his side. Uh, York not like, attempt- like flat on the ground or anything. Um, I guess uh, I will kind of ha- like drop the uh, cloak covered in blood that I had, reveal it's not a cat, and have this dagger pointed towards him, and kind of be giving the head nod for him to go back towards... Uh, Jerry's waiting arms. Okay. 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 And he uh, comes back towards the the entrance to the guild with you. Um, Oh, cheeky fuck. (laughs) (laughs) I just gotta hit him. I just gotta hit him. I need to hit someone. (laughs) Knocks his mask loose. Right. Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna... And rip that off and have a look at him. Yeah, he just, he's like a, he, standing in front of you is a, a sort of bloodless faced, sort of a scared, uh, but also sweaty and anxious human, uh, young and, um, you know, with sort of close cropped hair and a clean shaven face, but a, a, a bit of pudginess around him. He, he, he's not someone that's had to, uh, do without or, uh, or, you know, or, or, you know, make do. Um, and he's just sort of looking at you. I, we, I did not mean in, me, mean in any offense, Mr. Dwarf. We, we, uh, we were just looking for, for, for a friend, <clears throat> not hunting. Convince I, me that you're looking for a friend. Uh, uh. Uh, we, 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 our friend is Greg gravely hurt. He has a wound and, and, and is confused. He, we, we have to return him to the temple. Don't lie to me, you fucking twat. No, no lies. No, I'm not lying. I'm, I'm not. You don't it's look like his friend. Oi, man's <laughs> dad. Is he your mate? Who's dad? All right. Are you a Northie, a Southie, a Westie, an Eastie, a North by North Westie? I don't. I'd say I don't. at this point, <laughs> Melanine would step in because she realizes he's a little uh, fresh. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna start getting violent. I, have a... I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not in anything. Sorry, <laughs> right, for Mel. I have, a, I have cool uh, forty-five. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, right, lay like, off him so that. Stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Take a breath there, Lud. Tell us. What are you here for? <sighs> um. Oh, they're gonna. Oh, I'm gonna really, really get it from the Abyss for this. I, I work, uh. I, I'm, an, I'm an orderly in, in the, the infirmary. Um. Uh, the, 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 the nuns. They, they run it and I, I help them. And, uh. The dwarf we're looking for, us. he got out. He's very hurt. How did he get hurt? Uh, I, I, 
I don't know. I was I wasn't there. He he, he just had has these uh, wounds that they they stitched him up for. It's a pretty uh, serious injury. Pretty serious yeah. treatment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he seems to just yes. Mm-hmm. Was he there you with anyone? That- did he did he come in with anyone? No, no, there was no one else. Are we gonna kill this motherfucker for lying or not? I'm not, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I'm not. His, his fingers. His nose. Uh, there's a crash from inside the guild. Us. Little guild workshop. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go check that out. Okay. Uh, can, can I, is there any way I can tell if this guy's lying or not? Can I do a check or anything? Yeah, I you know yeah. I've got an intuition. I think you... <laughs> yeah, I've got int- I've got intuition too. Forty-seven. I'm still hey. not up on all the indi- the new skills and everything for uh, that. What do we got, I got there? Success. That is success. Standard success. Yeah. Dice. Um, so this guy, this is a uh, average task. So it's, you get a plus twenty to your skill for it. I don't know if that helps uh, Melanie out. Um, but you can tell that he is genuinely frightened and and, um, just from sort of being close to him, he does not strike you as a person who's used to violence uh, or, or someone who's, um, you know, prepared to use it. He looks more like a flunky or a lackey, but in terms of him lying, he, you don't get the impression that he's lying more that he just doesn't know anything. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Ferris is up and stumbling around the workshop. <laughs> Dad, huh? what was the name of what was the name of the man you were with? He said he knew something. Mm. Rolled. Rolled. But he did. Didn't talk much. Where are we? At the college, the workshop. Some men from the temple. We caught one. Yeah. They're looking for you. Where? Oh, he's outside. Um, and uh, Ferris just reaches for the nearest heavy object and makes starts to make his way for the door. Like he picks up like a, just a big like pair of tongs, right? And he starts <laughs> making yeah. the door. And, and and Van starts doing that thing like where he just follows behind him, not wanting to stop him because it's his dad. He's like, "Dad, what do you? Uh, maybe we should talk about Dad. What do you? Where are we going with this? <laughs> are, you, are you getting in front of him? Are you no, no. Following behind? Like I'm following okay. behind him, like <laughs> like doing the doing the kid thing of like, what, what are you? What are you going to do? We're talking uh, to uh, so. <laughs> so those of you outside, you can uh, see that that uh, Ferris is walking out with a big pair of, of like iron tongs that you'd use in a forge, and it looks like he's ready. He's got them in like two hands, and he's coming out the door um, <laughs> towards our prisoner. You know. Yeah, I'm assuming I'll have him up against the wall or something. Right, um, right, right. Yeah. But he's coming outside, and he's like, "Where is he?" Well, perhaps we should discuss this. There he is. What's going on? <laughs> York steps back and gets out of this one. He's pair of fucking tongues, mate. <laughs> and um, Ferris swings at this guy's, um, I guess, what is this, 12? Uh, location 12. Um, That's still and, the head, isn't uh, it? Is it the head? I, st- I don't have no. the new uh No, the new it's the number, left arm. The new, uh, Okay, new uh, left arm, and uh, just slams this uh, pair of iron tongs into him, and you, it, his arm is like pinned between the, uh, the tongs and the door, and screams out. He's like, ah! um, and um, Ferris is is like rearing back to take another swing, oh, and it looks oh, like no, he's just about to. <laughs> <laughs> what, Dad? We need to need to get as much information. He out of him. doesn't. You don't know this. This young lad here doesn't seem to know shit about shit. I, I, I don't think roughing him up is gonna get us much more. 
Dad. She's right. I'll point to this guy. You understand the stakes here now? You, you lied to us again. We let him loose on you. Tell us who sent you. And um, tell us Melanie what they told you to do. Melanie, and instead of offering the, the young lad help, just hands him his flask. <laughs> <laughs> he takes it with his right arm, drinks it. Uh, I, uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the abbess sent, sent me after your, uh, th this d dwarf and uh, all they said was to, to bring her in and to, 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 to not get caught. <clears throat> Who the fuck is an abbess? What kind the, of name the, is that? Uh, Margund Tanzer at, at the abbess with the, the infirmary. She, she runs it. Wait, wait, you're telling me a nun actually fucking did told you to come and get this guy? He takes another drink. <laughs> what's what's so special about him? I don't know. I don't know. As she said to go get him at what? Bring weapons and beat anyone up? No, just to, to, to get him and, and bring him back. He was was it was injured and needed needed her help. <laughs> you believe in this shit? I believe that probably he's just a lackey. Not given the information that would uh, disrupt the whole uh, operation, whatever that may be. I have a Maybe bit of a night. Go, uh, go ahead. Love ideas. And we, like, he motions to move away from this kid. Uh -huh. <clears throat> what about this? What if one of you takes his clothes, dressed up as him, we get something to get my hair all white and shocky. You act like you're bringing me. Of course, right. they might say it's the wrong person, but you know, you're from the Abbey. You're lo you were sent out looking for a dwarf with white hair. Our only problem I don't know is though, his other mate, his other mate did get away. Oh, that is true. I didn't think about that. But the masks—they're wearing fucking masks, aren't they? Hi. Yes. What a fucking mask on now? I know. Uh, while this is going on, York backs away again, so... Uh, I know, just Van's, the person. Van's dad can have another swing at him. Okay. <laughs> while our backs are turned. Yeah, it's yeah, just York, York's trying through it. York's like... <laughs> God damn it, York. You, you hear, the first time you hear, like, the guy tries to duck, I guess, and he hits the stone wall, and then the second one, it, it you hear a thud. Um, as you, ah! uh, but by now people are from the crowds are starting to kind of watch down the alley that, that at least in the guild as this, as this deranged dwarf starts beating up presumably a <laughs> carnival door and three four people are not doing anything about it um, and so there are people who kind of like are he's alright he's like, alright he oh. stole our cat give me my damn cat back oh, oh. yeah yeah you know there's you know <laughs> Uh, I know just a person who's good for this kind of thing. York, put on a fucking mask and pretend you're a nun. <laughs> and I, a nun? I think that how I think he's an orderly. The nuns look a little different there, Jerry. Well, you didn't uh, know I'm... what they looked like five minutes ago, sweetheart. <laughs> no, I just didn't want to tell you what they look like or whatever fucked up fantasy you got going over there. <sighs> well, tell you what. We need, we goes, need to clean this up. It's going to get rowdy. Yeah, well, his dad's fucking nut, isn't he? Uh, hey. <laughs> what we do it, well, we'll just keep him somewhere. Let's take him back to the pub, lock him up in the back room so he doesn't get away. Then we'll let him go afterwards once York's done his mission. Seems fair enough to me, fellas. All right, Vern, you control your dad so he don't kill him too bad on the way back. Please. Dad, dad, please. You need to keep him. You need to keep him alive. He could be a good hostage. Mm. <laughs> What's going on? Going to a pub, mate. Oh. Yes. Does he, does he yeah. seem like he's just, like, in and out of 
being like lucid and aware. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He he just like the 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 tongs just fall from his hands, um, and yeah. uh, clatter to the cobblestones. Okay. I'll, I'll just kind of turn his back uh, to the orderly then, so out of sight, out of mind, uh, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, we're gonna go get a drink. I guess I'll grab the mask before it gets too bloody as well. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we've got uh, Van and who else? Right, Van and who else are headed back to the tavern uh, to uh, um, so to think, do what? I think all of us, maybe except for York, right? who's gonna go undercover. Gotcha. I kind of, I kind of want to go to uh, with York because um, okay, infir- infirmary, but it, it interests her. Right. Um, so both Melanie and York are going to go, and then um, I'll look the guy in the back room and ask him some questions and that kind of thing. But yeah. Uh, and so right. York, you've got a disguise. Did, you take. You basically just, take the the. What's up? Yeah, I'll, I'll take the mask and head whatever headgear he had to try and cover myself a little bit. Okay. And let's see, what was that uh, for Van? Uh, I was going to ask, is, is the wolf's head, is it an inn as well, or is it just a tavern? It's just a tavern. Right. Yeah, they, they don't have... I mean, there's like a, you know... Is there an inn, like, right next door? Site. There are dormitories and hostels uh, and inns all, uh, all up and down the street, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, well, I'll go back to the wolf's head right now and just kind of keep uh, keep Ferris... Keep Van's dad um, away from the orderly, but out of sight near the back. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right. Uh, so you keep the two of them separate. Uh, it's getting to be fairly late in the evening, before midnight, but uh, the streets are starting to thin out a bit uh, as the lightweights have uh, gone home. Um, so both York and uh, Melanie are making their way across the city, which will take some time, but it's, uh, it's not that far. Uh, while Jerry and Van have uh, gone back to the Wolf's Head and are, are keeping their respective charges uh, separate from each other. Um, yeah, you're, Van Ferris is, uh, is in and out of periods of, of seems to be paranoia, lucidity, extreme uh, sort of uh, violence. His, his, uh, his mood and his, his affect doesn't seem to be consistent at all. And he still has a... Uh, loose grip on his uh, consciousness. Okay. <clears throat> I'll just keep talking to him and give, give him some food and, and meat. Okay. Um, so for York and Melanie, uh, give me an idea of, of what the plan is and uh, and, and what you're going to do uh, to sort of execute it. Uh, Melanie would be familiar with the infirmary. I don't know that she would have volunteered her time there yet. It's mm-hmm. probably on her to- to-do list of people to impress, but um, maybe she's going under the guise of uh, having chatted with this fella and just trying to get information. <laughs> and then... Uh, uh, I more- imagine we need a backup plan walking straight into this hornet's nest, so like as we're walking, like maybe five minutes before we get there, uh, Mal, this is going to be the first and last time I ask you to do this, but we're going to need a backup plan. Hey. I need you to punch me in the face. Just just enough to make me bleed and look <laughs> like I'm injured. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Pl- please try not to hurt these looks. That's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, Jesus. At least they're kind of bracing himself. Also... also don't mock, knock me out, okay? My ego cannot cope with that. I, I'm a very I'm proud more, man. I'm more worried about my tools than your face, you asshole. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he's there, he's there, kind of clenched fist stood in front of you. <laughs> Melanie's more afraid to hurt her hand than she is to hurt her face, but she does it. <laughs> like, you, you, you could do something else. You could use an object and not tell me. Ooh, um, I, I did. I did say she has a wine bottle in her coat, so maybe she hits oh. him with that instead. <laughs> it's, it's, car- it's carnival. It could. It could add to add to the story. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. Yeah. 
<laughs> Excellent. Uh, all right. So, uh, yeah, you've got a suitably <laughs> uh, black eye, <laughs> bruised face. I, I imagine York's immediately knocked the floor like, was that a fucking bottle? Fuck me. What kind of rules are we the... playing by? Like... Look, like, I need... You curse me now, but you may need me to patch up later, all right? Let's 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 plan ahead. <laughs> Jesus, we tell fucking Jerry the three men jumped me on the way here, okay? He'll never fucking leave to let this one down. <laughs> Works for me. I don't fucking care. <laughs> uh, and I'll put the uh, thingy mask back on, but it's it's, it's kind of a last, last ditch uh, result. <laughs> Okay, you're my eyes and ears in here. I've never been here before, so let's try and see what we can find out. If if anyone asks, a, a weird-looking dwarf with white hair hit me in the face, okay? Hey, and I'm just interested in volunteering or some shot marks. Okay. Um, the uh, the temple of Shalia is on the uh, western end of the city. You have to pass through the Great Park, the the uh, the Temple of Ulrich uh, is on the way, as well as the Guild of uh, Physicians. But this time of night, it, it takes maybe 20 minutes to walk there using the main thoroughfare. Um, it's really just like a straight shot. Um, and the Shalian Temple is a, a two-story building with a marble facade and, and sort of frescoes. There's a lot of endowments and uh, bequests that are given to the temple uh, from various uh, wealthy patrons throughout the city. And it is a, a modest but um, well-kept building. And you know, that sort of, you know, in this wing, that's where the infirmary would be. That's where they keep the, uh, the orphanage and things like that. Uh, and then on the other wing is more of the dormitories for the nuns and the uh, priests that, that live here, as well as the temple mm -hmm. itself. Um, so how do you approach this? The, the temple's open 24 hours a day. It does, it's never kept locked or, or anything like that. It's, it's a place where people can come <laughs> and seek shelter and uh, safety at any time. So it's lit and, and there are people coming and going uh, even as you approach. Yeah, Is there more of a you... presence on... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. Uh, Is First. there more of a presence on the door? Like, uh, does it look like there's people kind of standing watch, or...? Um, not so much standing watch. There's a nun outside uh, in the white and gray robes of the uh, Shalyan priests, uh, or priestess, and, you know, she's greeting those who want to come in and sort of uh, directing them where uh, where they might need to go, but, but not, like, keeping watch or anything. Are you yeah, due to approach her? York, why don't you pop on my shoulder a little bit? Looks like I'm bringing you in here. Come on. Let's go talk to the lady. Yeah, uh, York will kind of lean up against her, uh, looking as pitiful as he can. Uh, I won't have the mask <laughs> on at this point. I'll, I'll keep it tucked away if we're going to do this one straight away. Um, and I'll just kind of be deliriously ranting like I'm half conscious uh, as, uh. as I'm all forward. Oh, dear. Is, is everything okay? Uh, you know, I saw this fella got attacked, and uh, this was the closest place uh, of healing that I know of. Uh, I'm studying to be a doctor, but uh, he needs some help. Can we? Uh... He said he worked here. It was a little fella. He had white hair. He, he hit me with a, a building oh, or something. Are you, uh, are hurts. you okay? And she sort of like takes and looks. I, I, what's your name? I, I can't remember. Are you, oh, no. are you my mother? No, no, oh, no. And she, like, takes the mask off. Oh, this is bad. And you said you worked here. Oh, and um, <laughs> we have a wild magic uh, search. One for York and uh, one for Van. What's <laughs> <Nice>. up <laughs> uh, here? Mommy, do, do, do I have to go to bed? He's not in very good shape. He got knocked really, really hard as in the head. Yes. Really, no, really. Maybe, let's take you to the, the infirmary. And they, they bring you back towards the infirmary. Um, and, you know, 
uh, don't, don't hush. It's okay. It's okay. And he got uh, hit on the head so hard that he's immune to electrical attacks while carrying metal. <laughs> <laughs> Damn straight. You're, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> someone, yeah, someone should send Short. him after uh, Eamon. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, this one for Van sucks. On any successful attack roll, Van is still 10% likely to fail. That's bad. I know. <laughs> now you know why he's been in college for fucking ever. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did my best. Yeah. Sucks to be uh, Van. All right. Um, so yeah, they they're taking uh, York in disguise back to the uh, infirmary to get patched up uh, and everything. And it, and at, at one point, the uh, the nun turns to to Melanie. Are, are you his? Uh, did you find him? Or, or do you do you know him? Uh, no, I just I saw him get hit, and uh, he was mumbling something about a nun, and I knew this place is around here, so I just I brought him here. It seemed to make. You know, that's. Oh. <laughs> I'm Thank studying you. at the college. I, yeah. Ah, oh, well, th- then welcome. I, I, we, we hope to see you soon. Uh, we can always use more, uh, more hands if you're around here. Hey, I'm, I'm actually curious and happenstance, kind of a weird hour for it, but you know, in here. <laughs> um, and she walks you through the, uh, walks you back through the beds, and, and there's a <laughs> lot of people in here who've, you know, people have fallen downstairs while drunk or run over by horses, uh, you know, dueling wounds and the like. Um, even a uh, one of the uh, gentlemen from the uh, south side from earlier this uh, this evening, who is uh, <laughs> in one of the beds getting patched up, and um, they they bring uh, York over wanted to to one of the beds and, and begin to. Uh, you know, bathe the wound and start to uh, to see what uh, what they can do. Um, and to give me an idea, are y'all just sort of waiting for them to turn their back, or, or what? What's the plan? Uh, you know? I'm I'm going to kind of let Mel do her thing and do the kind of covert thing. Uh, and mm-hmm. as soon as she looks like she's got nowhere or she's in trouble, I'm going to start being quite overt that it was a dwarf that attacked me. Yeah. Uh, and start letting out those details. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I, uh, who uh, who runs the the floor up here? Do you have different people? How did how did this fella get uh, get into a situation with this dwarf? Oh, I well, um, the the abbess uh, Tanzer runs the uh, runs the the infirmary here, but she's not uh, here this evening. Um, and, and I don't recognize this gentleman, although perhaps you were only recently uh, hired as, as one of our orderlies, and we haven't had the chance to meet. Hey, he seems hey. a bit green. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I, I and kind of look at her with, like, fake rolling the eyes into my back of the head. <laughs> Settle a bed for a friend of mine. You got something sexy under that dress. Oh, <gasps> I, uh, oh. <laughs> Sir, that is. <laughs> and she stands up. You must. Mm. <laughs> 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 and she, uh, she throws, she, she throws the wash cloth in the bucket. I. Mm. Well, that will, I think your wound is healed. You may rest here as long as you need. But there are other uh, patients who require. My attention. The, the dwarf, she, uh, the dwarf is gonna. Away. The dwarf with the white hair is gonna get me. He I've never me. seen a dwarf with white hair, sir. She knows she's lying as she says it. <laughs> like <she's laughs> plenty of dwarfs with white hair. They're all over. <laughs> York's gonna like, get frustrated. He's he's gonna stand up and start chucking things around, screaming at the top of his lungs. The 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 dwarf. He's he's gonna hit me. Uh, uh, um. uh, and I'll, I'll just I'll drop the word <laughs> under city as I'm flowing things around. Okay. Um, mm. Ooh, all right. And okay. um, she, like you, you 
really, you must, you must calm down. If you cannot get a hold of yourself, if you cannot calm your nerves, then, then we, we will have to, to, to keep you here and, and until you are safe. Keeping her in clip. <laughs> um, <laughs> am I? Am I? Am I getting the feeling that um, they might have a secure room somewhere? You're getting that feeling. I mean, there's multiple doors in and out of here that that could lead uh, any old place. This temple is many stories tall, and and who knows how many cellars and the like they have underneath it. Um, there could be anything in here. It's quite large. Yeah, York's York's gonna just dial this up to ten. Uh, he's he's thinking that he might get taken where this guy is. Uh, so he's gonna be knocking everything everywhere. He's gonna be like pulling leeches off people and throwing uh, them on walls, like a yeah, full-on diva meltdown. Yeah, there are some <laughs> orderlies that come out of the uh, out of one of the doors. Like two of them, they're you know. They're, they're dressed in uh, simple gray frocks and, and, and uh, you know, they look like friars uh, almost. And um, even though you both know that the Shalians don't accept uh, men into their, uh, into the priest's hood. And they make their way towards York. They're like, sir, you're going to have to come with us. Come down, uh, calm down. Yes. York will lash out and knee the first one in the bollocks he can. All right, let's roll. Let's get some die rolls going over here. Um, do you never need a mic. Attacking nuns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, York is going to have the highest kill count out of all of us. Easily, easily. Let's go and roll initiative. Um, He's already killed ten family members, and he stabbed that one guy in the street. Uh, I have uh, zero successes for that uh, that initiative, or zero success levels for that initiative. I, uh, I've got like minus three, um, yeah. three failures. So, I'm... is Mel stepping in at all? Are you gonna let this play out? I'm just gonna let this play out. All right, all right. They're attempting uh, uh, to grab uh, you. <laughs> aside from letting him do his thing, she's still got an impression to make. Gotcha. Yes. Um, they're attempting to grab you. That is two success levels from uh, from my orderlies. I need you to make um, an opposed roll. With yeah, that. I, I've massively failed. Yeah, they've they've got me. I'm, I, I guess I'm not putting too much of a fight up. I just wanted to thwack one of the balls. But yeah, you you go for it, and they sort of like step out of the way and and, and wrap you up in a bear hug. Um, and uh, it, you know they'll they take you through the door that they came out of as. Uh, as the uh, as the place quiets down, as York is taken away, let's we'll come back to him. Mel, what do uh, you do in these final uh, moments here? Um, uh, is a, the sister still nearby? <laughs> yeah, she's tending to the wounds of, of someone else, uh, a couple of beds down. Okay. Um. Hmm. I might have her take take a look around while he's um while he's causing his ruckus. I guess would be the best thing to do. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, where do See you where, she can, like you need for Marie? Uh, she'd probably be looking for an office at this point. She doesn't necessarily believe that the uh, the nun the the abbess is out. The command yeah. like that. She'd be sitting around waiting for um delivery of her dwarf <laughs> okay uh go ahead and make me an agility uh test or if you have stealth uh you can make that uh it's a stealth roll that's what we're looking for mm, I think my you agility don't, is it's, actually better <laughs> is it really, uh, if you don't have a skill i think it's like half but 12 is probably uh probably enough um mm-hmm. you don't think any of the nuns here saw you as you try to slink away mm-hmm. but uh as you are trying to get away to where you think the offices are, you do think someone is following you through the uh, through the halls here. Um, I feel like she's got enough of a background. She could, you know, just say she was looking for somebody to, you know, register with or see where she could sign up to help if if somebody's following her. So I, I'd say she keeps going until she stopped. Uh, at the offices. Mm-hmm. 
Um, all right, give me just a second. I'm making a quick note. I <laughs> uh, kept going, and so you get to the uh, you get to the offices, and um, the doors are locked. It's like a set of double doors that would lead further into them, uh, where mm. you know they keep the records and you know all that sort of stuff. But they are locked at the moment. Um. At this point, might she notice who was following her? Yeah, you see that there are three figures following Mel. You recognize the lead right. one as Wolfram Loeb, a fellow uh, student at your um, at the uh, Physicians Guild there, and uh, you know that he is a reputation for gambling, and uh, mm -hmm. it's not cheap getting uh, admittance into the Physicians Guild. And as he approaches you. Melanie, I thought I saw you come in here earlier. Mm. We, uh, Hi, darling. How you doing? Mm, we uh, have a problem. We have... Uh, we find our coin purses light and heard a rumor about your family. Mm. Perhaps we should talk. <clears throat> um, I do have the skill of bribery. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So I'm definitely going to try to cut a deal, even though she might have some coin. Um, okay. So as Melanie tries to cut a deal, I'd like us to come back to the wolf's head and uh, see what uh, Van and Jerry have been up to. So Van and Jerry have been sort of in their own separate quarters. Um, <laughs> He's Van, got the cat Van again. <laughs> there <is> cat. <laughs> There's always a cat. Uh, and then uh, Jerry is with the, uh, the guy that y'all caught. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be in a the back room, and I'm gonna have the guy on a chair, and there's like one particularly flickery lantern which I have just above him, and I'm pacing around the room. Hmm. Oh, uh, fag. There's, there's no need for this. No, 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 thank you. Sure, it's good for you. I, they, I, uh, the nuns say they aren't that the vapors uh, cause. Uh, a brain swelling. I, I should not. Mm -mm. My brain looks swollen to you, mate. Um. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I thought. So listen. What's your name, mate? D Dunkred. You what? Dankweed? Dankred. R-A-D. <laughs> All right, Dankweed. <laughs> it's not a weed. I, no, it's rat, rat. It's a, it's, it's a, you know, it's Eastern dialect. Yeah, mm. but it is. It is, so you mm. are an Eastern then. Mm. It's not kind. All right. So here's how it is, Danky. <laughs> You and your mates got yourself into some trouble. Because uh, you've been fucking with my mate's dad. Which, that, that's just not cool. Not cool at all. I even know you're probably quite well-intentioned, young gentleman. And you're just, just trying to help out. Isn't that right? Yes. Have you ever shanked a man? Hmm? What's that? Have you ever shanked a man? I, I fucking stabbed him. No, ooh, no, 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 no. Yeah, he struck me as a nice boy. Shame, because you see, my friends are out there speaking to the nun, this Mrs. Abbess, what you taught us about. But yeah. I'm here talking to you, so if they don't find out what they want to find out over there, I've got to find it out through you, don't I? Oh, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know anything. I just, I, I don't know anything about 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 any of it. Well, you must do, mate, because you work there, don't you? Or Mrs. Abbess. Yes, yes. She's very good, very good. All right. So this white-haired dwarf, then, my mate's dad, she said he was ill, true enough, but he was talking, raving about 
something what had happened to him before about monsters and shit. You remember anything about that? I don't know. Any, I don't know anything about monsters. There's a, a lot of a lot of people rave in the temple. What about him? Has he been waving, uh, raving? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I I can't. I can't remember. He just starts to like uh, break down. Yeah. I like uh. to slap him in the face once. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right. Yes. So yes. here's what's going to happen. Yeah. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to break your fingers or your toes or your knees or anything. But what I will do is leave that door there open. And that is the door through which my mate's dad comes through, vis-a-vis -vis the man who just hit you. No, you don't, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Well, I'm gonna have to unless you tell me something better, don't we? I, 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 uh, and he starts to uh, stammer and um, I, 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 I can get you in there. I know, I know the way in. I know the way in. Please don't, don't, don't. And uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> he also has a wild magic search. Yeah, uh, I got uh... <laughs> from Mr. <Boy. laughs> Hold up. Chaos Chorus are a cruel they are mistress. They are. Alrighty, uh... What was that roll? Uh, 8331. 33... 31. All magic weapons nearby are ethereal until sunset. Huh. Interesting. The ghostly. Okay. All magic weapons oh, Yeah, nearby. um... Maybe the wolf's head <laughs> itself. Yeah, yeah. Um, like <laughs> there you go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It, how do I get in then? If I look to get into the abyss, to see meet Mrs. Abyss, Mr. and Mrs. Yes. Is there a Mr. Abyss? There's no Mr. Abyss. Uh, no. All right, no uh, where do I get in? There, there is a. There's a man. I, I don't know his name though, but he's sometimes there. Okay. Um, okay. He's a, what does he look like? He's, he's tall, older, older man, hu human, human. human? But, uh, dress is weird, F funny. Uh, you know, oh, like a no face. Yeah, no, 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 no. Like a, like he, like he's a, he's an elf, dresses in robes and things. Uh, huh. I, I don't know his name. They. Huh. Well, I've got I've a friend who's an elf. They all know each other. You do. And he starts to like think through the implications of that. Um, so your abbess is meeting with this elfy man at night. Not always, not always, but mostly. I don't see him come okay. in. He just is there. There must be a all right. Must be another entrance. Well, you said you could get me in. Um, I, yeah, I can. I can. Yes. On him? How do I get him? Oh, oh um, in, you see him start to sort of think about it for for a minute. There's a there's a a, a stairwell in in one of the cellars that that we use sometimes to to get in and out without you know if we need to bring someone in without causing a fuss. Uh, we we use one of the old cellar entrances. It's, um, it's at the, the the back, the the, the north, the northern end of the the temple. Uh, one of the old buildings there. All right, That's and where in where in this temple is the abbess? Where can I find her? Uh, her she has a, an office on the, the ground floor. All right. So on a scale of one to ten, what we're we talking about this abbess. What about her? Is she fit? Um, I, I mean, she's. Would she you? keeps healthy. And, and, and right. I what? Yeah, she's. I mean, she's got a lot of responsibility. It's important that she keeps her her, uh, you know, is healthy and doesn't get sick and, and everything. Yes. He's just really confused now. All right, don't greed. I like you. So I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to leave you here for a bit. 
All right. Sure you yes. don't want a fag? No, no, thank you. The vapors. All right. Well, I'll be on my way then. If that door mm -hmm. opens and uh, that, my mate's dad starts killing you, then just scream real loud and I'll see if I can make it in time. No promises. Oh, just please uh, shut the door. <laughs> just shut the door. <laughs> um, and he screams for the, just close the door. I like leave it uh, and crack open. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Van, for most of this time, Ferris has been in and out of, of, of consciousness and lucidity. Um, the the walking across uh, to the the workshop and back took a lot out of him, and swinging the the tongs seemed to take a lot out of him. And at this point, it's you've got him to the point where he's just kind of calm and laying down, and and seems to be lightly sleeping. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, I'm gonna take this this quick moment to uh, go talk to maybe the barkeep, see if he has any shot and powder. That I could borrow. Okay. I'll pay him back. Or I'll just yeah. pay him for it right now. Um, uh -huh. See if I can get uh, a little something for the uh, for the old pistol there. Uh, something for my nerves. And uh, and then just come back and just keep an eye on his father until uh, Jerry shows back up. Um. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Gunther does, um, has uh, shot and powder that, uh, that he's willing to, uh, to sell you. Um, and uh, he's willing to sell you, you know, about five shots worth. Uh, he doesn't have a whole lot himself. He's got one of those bandoliers that, uh, that has it all pre, uh, measured out. Um, Ooh. nice. And at some point, I guess, you know, Jerry finishes up with, uh, Dankred and, uh, yeah. Uh Did you find anything? Well, not uh, so I sure about. I didn't catch that. Will back. you were breaking up? Oh, am I back? You're back. Okay. Well, yeah, I found a couple of things. First of which, not sure how fit this abyss is, but there is some kind of elf man. What is going around and meeting her at night? So I like, could be banging. Hmm. Uh, Something like that. I guess they don't usually see people. True. Secondationally, there's uh, there's a cellar a door which we can get our ways through. What is on the north side, so we can just sneak our way right in there. Oh, the northeast. Yeah, that's what I figured. Sounds about right. You wanna go? With uh, York and Mel aren't back. I kind of want to see what's going on. Your dad stay here. Good who could look after him. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, he seems he's sleeping, so hopefully he'll uh, sleep the night. Uh, it'd probably be a good idea. They might need our help. Yeah, especially if there's some nonsense going on there with elves. You know, Mel yeah. being an elf and all, probably might know what's going on. Hmm. Maybe they. Maybe they're related. Aren't they all related? Yeah, they is. <laughs> oh, casual racism. <laughs> They're all related, mate. There's only like 12 of them anyway. Yes. Mm. Yeah. One sixth here in the city? Hmm. I don't like That's it. That's what I call a coincidence. It's exactly what it is. Yes. I'll go uh, see if Gunther remind, uh, would mind checking uh, in on my father. <clears throat> and he'll run up and, and talk to Gunther and promise to fix anything he needs fixing. You know, just please keep mm -hmm. him safe. Yeah, yeah. Um, what about yeah, uh, what about the boy? What was it? Did you get his name at least? Yeah, Dan Quaid. Okay. He'll pop the door open. Mr. Weed. Um, uh, oh, it's red. Dan Quaid. You know, it's, yes, it is pretty rad. I agree. Um, so, <laughs> so we'll be back. But uh, if you don't try to escape, then the crazy old dwarf won't beat you to death. 
<gasps> he's watching the door. So, he's fine now, don't worry. But, um, yeah. And then I go to shut the door and leave it, like, cracked a little bit. Okay. Should, um, should we tell Gunther about, uh, the boy? Nah. Just worry a minute. I keep boys in there all the time. I was not aware. Um... <laughs> I shrug my shoulders and head out. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Van will go ahead and load the pistol, like so it's ready to go, and put it back uh -huh. in his bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, little revelation about uh, Jerry. Uh, <laughs> Don't question it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so, the two, uh, Van and Jerry, go off across Middenheim to uh, the temple where they were looking for uh, an entrance on the north side that will get them in. Um, York, you are brought through halls uh, that are lit by these sort of uh, frosted lanterns that provide a kind of dim lighting throughout their uh, bare interior. It's not uh, sinister or anything. There's no skulls or cobwebs or anything. It's very clean, very well kept, uh, painted um, sort of like tile walls. But you can hear sorts of the, the muffled shouting of the insane inmates that uh, occupy the individual cells of this sanatorium and the heavy iron bound doors with their sliding uh, little viewports on them. And you go through about eight of those, uh, these sort of doors, one on either side, and um, you come to an empty one. And the orderlies are like, the, uh, uh put him in here? They're just talking to themselves. Put him in here? Yeah. So does he work for us? Nah. And they just uh, toss you in to one of them, and you hear a heavy clank as it uh, closes shut behind you. If you were in here, they just threw you in here with your motley on, the disguise you had, it didn't seem to like go through your pockets or anything like that. Uh, do I hear them walk off down the corridor? Yeah. So, York is immediately regretting this decision. He, like, <laughs> he was definitely acting in a spare of the moment. And, like, I imagine he looks to the wall on the right and there's just fucking feces smeared up it. Someone's drawn like a, a sunny picture in feces. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. oh, fuck. Um, and he'll kind of knock on his own door and say, I don't suppose we've got any dwarfs? You ask outside? Uh, I'm kind of... Cause, uh, I'm guessing there are other cells connected to me. It's not deliberately uh -huh. to shout someone out there. Uh, was it right, Rold? Right. I'll, I'll specifically name... Uh, any any gentleman called Rold? Um, there's a minute or two of silence, and then three doors down on the opposite side, you hear a muffled... I'm Rold! Like, fuck for that. Uh, um, listen, you had a friend. Be careful what you're saying. Yes or no? No. No friends. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> They're shouting from the cell next to you as someone, as you, and you hear like a heavy thudding against the door. What what do you know of the Undercity? <laughs> no Undercity. Uh, you hear that from Rold's uh, cell. Okay. Hang on one minute. Uh, can I hear anyone outside? Does it sound like there's anyone in this corridor? I didn't see any. Like, I, I, when I was brought in, I didn't see anyone watching or taking guard, and then I heard the two people walk off. 
Uh, it's in, in the tussle that got you out of here, you were brought through several rooms as they were struggling and, and in that initial uh, kind of uh, kind of moment of passing through the door. You passed through two rooms and then a second door and were down a, uh, a short flight of steps, um, which led you to this long hallway. So you, you, you've gone uh, down at least two flights of steps, you, you would guess, uh, before getting to this... Uh, the sanitarium. So I, I, I think I'm pretty clear, like in terms of there's not anyone on the other side of the door. Right, yes. Uh, I'm going to be a witch uh, and I'm going to use open lock on my door. Okay. Uh, so I, I just don't want to be caught doing the incantation, so maybe I'll kind of do it while the guy next to me, I'll try and drum him up into a bit of a frenzy. So it's not overtly obvious there's someone doing magic down here. Okay. Uh, and it. I th think I need one success level, so I just need to pass this. This could go really wrong really quick. Uh, do you have the channeling skill? Or no, that's only for... Uh, so yeah, it's only to do. So it's language magic. Um... Okay. Oh my fucking god! Is that bad? I think that's really mm. bad. Mm -mm -mm. I, I, well, it's not a, it's not a, uh, it, like doubles, right? Are where that's it's good. really bad, right? <laughs> so if it had been a ninety-nine or an eighty-eight, that would have been bad. Um, instead, this is just a, uh, a failure. Ah, fuck! Uh, <laughs> and then I start to pound on the fucking door. Listen, fucking rolled. Understand me. You had a friend. <laughs> friend? Uh, there was a, there was a, a, a short one, a, a stunty one. He, he <laughs> no friends. Um, and you, you can hear uh, now. Roll this kind of uh, pounding on his door. It doesn't sound as heavy as the one that's next to you. Why are they trying to kill him, Roald? Why, why do they want him silenced? What does he know? Sorry, wrong voice. <laughs> I thought I'd switch to the wrong voice. <laughs> like switch for rat. <laughs> why, why, why are they trying to kill him? What, what do they know? I thought you were just doing a voice as you're. <laughs> I was buying it. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. Callan, done. Um, yeah, I, I kind of shout, trying to get more information out of him. <laughs> he's, he's seen what I've seen. <laughs> And it's what just happened? like this cackling uh, uh, laughter in the face of York's questions now. Uh, and there's no way. Does it look like I could use my dagger to kind of force this lock or force anything open? Um, yeah, you could potentially try. Are you not able to use the spell uh, twice in a row? I, I, or some... I, I, I could do it again. I'm happy to do it again. I just don't want to kind of be that guy. This is one of the, It's a system where you can keep trying as much as you want and... Uh, you just hope oh there's not a... Oh, I'll... oh, there we go. Was that a success? That, would be... that is a success. That's a crap uh, success. That is... Yeah. <laughs> the double. That is... Uh, here we go, here we go. Uh, so, yeah, so you, that is a success. On a crit, you can either... Uh, you know, if it, it was inflicted... You know, if it's a wounding spell, it could be a critical wound. Uh, otherwise, it's auto-cast. Uh, or you could choose to have it not be dispelled if it was going to last a while. Um, but do you have the, the talent etheric attunement? Uh, no, I do not. I don't believe. I don't think I have that. Right, no. So even if you succeed, if it's a double, we got to roll on the miscast table because yeah. you as yet <laughs> cannot control the winds of magic as they course is, through is, you. Are we using the, 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 the fun miscast or the full edition? New one. I'm using I'm using all fourth edition stuff, so none of the old yeah. uh, 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 crit tables or, or those. Okay. Maybe that's Still just right. a one that's, D hundred. That's just a D hundred, yeah. Ooh, sixty nine. Right. two. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Unholy visions. So your spell goes off, and you can hear the uh, the bar on the other side sliding along the. Uh, the guard there and as it does york like pushes the door open and instead of entering into the hallway you instead enter into uh, a dimly lit corridor with 
deep, sinister green lamps. They're giving off a, a noxious odor and, and, and smoke that clings to the ceiling. Very low, wide tunnels. You can hear the, the skittering uh, of something, claws on stone from all around you, but can't see anything. Um, and until you pass a, uh, until you pass a challenging, uh, cool test, you have the blinded condition as you are blinded by these unholy visions. What we got? You're all on. Sorry, I'm muted. Uh, just in the corner oh. of my eye, I, I swear I see like one of my cousins and her throat slip. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it just, just, just for a second, and it, it kind of shocks me, uh, like a, like a ten, twelve year old girl, something like that, just in the corner mm -hmm. of my eye. Yeah, sinister visions. Um, so this lasts until uh, you can uh, like just pass a uh, a cool test, which I believe is. Um, yeah, that's its own skill, I believe. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to be a pass, whatever it is. Uh, cool. No, that's not a pass. Uh, two degrees of failure. Two degrees of failure on that. So you can tell that the door... Um, you can tell that the uh, the door sort of was going to... Uh, or is opened, but you can't see. You, you don't see the door in front of you. You were in some other sort of uh, vision at the moment. Yeah, yeah no just screaming like a madman in this this sanitarium. <laughs> Melanie, uh, Wolfram and his two friends have cornered uh, Melanie at the end of the hall, and appear to be shaking her down for uh, for some coins. <clears throat> so, rumor about your family. Everyone knows that the elves have uh, money. Perhaps we could reach an arrangement. And you see that he's he's got a uh, what looks like a, a scalpel or something in his mm. hand. Um, yeah, looks like you know they, they're swear wearing you know the usual sort of first year student kind of garb as well. Hmm. Mm. I don't know if she would take this uh, lying down. Um... You work at a temple, and you're trying to bribe me. She'd probably flash her saw in her coat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, she's got bigger guns. <laughs> yeah. around a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we would uh, be upset if we had to spill blood in the House of Peace, but we have uh, debts. And he just lets that hang. Mm. So, what is Melanie's plan? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> this is all, you know, thank our, our donator for, uh, <laughs> for, <laughs> for, the, it, for the permission to uh <laughs> um, is although her parents would be rich i don't know that that would necessarily be something she would have access to or even want yeah. to be a part of um, right 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 I'm trying to decide if she would try and bribe him with like a trinket she has on her, or um, clearly uh, pulling rank didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they seem uh, determined and and also uh, inebriated. Mm. Okay. Um, she'd look around, grab her watch or something, offer it up. This is all I uh, got on me. <laughs> sees the, uh, sees it. Go ahead and make me a charm roll, if you would. Or bribery. Either one of those. Mm. Bribery is Good higher. choice. We'll go with bribery. Bribery is higher. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> 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 
Uh-huh. It's a nice watch. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. Uh, how many success levels is that? <laughs> Let's see, my bribery is at a uh, 43. <laughs> 43. Just four success levels. Um, <laughs> let me see. I don't think it's... All right. So he takes a look at the watch and grabs it, holds it up to the light. Uh, uh, you know, there's like a dim lance, uh, lanterns in here as well as uh, light coming in from outside. He looks at it. All right. Well, this will do for now. But remember, we have an arrangement now. This is a contract. And he kind of thinks he's a badass and begins to uh, <laughs> walk off with your watch. Mm. What was his name again? Did he say? His name <laughs> was Wolfram Loeb. I'll type it in our uh, backstage. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't recognize the other two. Uh, they are uh, they, more than likely they are dropouts. Yeah. Um, but still Vol have, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, from if the rumors are true, you realize that uh, that's not might might not go as well as you think it will. <laughs> we'll see. And he, uh, you see him walk off. Um, not like exit the temple, just walk like to another uh, portion of the temple. Um, so you, Melanie finds herself alone near the offices uh, with a locked door. Uh, you, can have, you can go back towards the infirmary where you came from or uh, go to the intersection where you would go to like the temple and uh, the other half of the, uh, the complex. Hmm. He said the word none, so let's wander towards the temple. Okay. Um, Melody's going to start uh, wandering towards the temple. There's um, less people here than over in the infirmary. You really just see a couple of uh, of the nuns standing around in the, the vestibule to the temple. The frescoes and paintings and the like in here are tremendous, uh, depicting the healing mercies of uh, Shalia, her guiding light in uh, restoring humanity and easing their burden through this uh, dark world. Um, it's sort of a, a large open space uh, where they will hold uh, worship, as well as the uh, screened off area where those members of the Physicians Guild uh, worship in private. Uh, that's sort of rough layout of the temple itself. But it's not like it's, there's not services or anything like now. It's, it's rather late at night. Mm -hmm. I think she'd uh, wander towards the uh, the um, private area. <laughs> okay. Um, as you wander towards the private, wandering towards the private area, you can uh, hear voices coming from somewhere further in. Um, it looks like a, a tor a, towards the end of the uh, the temple, there are several entrances and exits that look like they lead perhaps to the dormitories where all the nuns live. Um, it's from that end that you can hear. Uh, voices speaking. Um, I remember if I have some sort of he hearing perk, but I'd probably try to get close enough to listen. I thought elves had acute hearing. Um, I think I, think I, I don't remember if it carried over into this uh, edition. Uh, um, do you want to get close enough to try to hear what they're saying? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me a perception test. You can't uh, he you can't see where they are, um, so you're not sure if you're being observed or not. But uh, you attempt to hear them. I'm forty nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. The, you know, we're, from where you're at, you you probably have to get closer to the entrance uh, to to get a better uh, shot at uh, at hearing them. Hmm. You think closer, or do you move closer? Yeah. Might as well. We, we think we've got enough ex excuses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Um, 
there is a uh, a man and a woman speaking, and um, go and get the doctor and tell him that we have another patient for him. But do hurry. This one seems to know something about our missing friend. And then in the, uh, you hear a, a, a voice reply back. Of course, uh, Abbas will be back as quickly as I can. Are you, um, mm-hmm. are you going to stick around or are you, uh, what uh, does Melanie do? Where did he go? You still can't see them. You, they, you think okay. that they're in maybe one of the side halls off of the temple. Uh, there's, like I said, at least three exits out of here uh, at the end that you're at. And you can just, the space here is echoing. And so they their whispers uh, carry a bit further than they might uh, realize. Um, but you can't see them. So are you, are you gonna mm-hmm. are you sticking where you're at, or are you gonna go somewhere? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick where I'm at. Okay. Um, it doesn't take very long for Jerry and Van to work their way across the, the Great Park, uh, the Temple District, and towards the West Gate where <laughs> the Temple of Shalia is. Uh, you know, this is a fairly well-known landmark in the city, and getting towards the uh, the north side of it is no difficulty at all. Uh, Using the orderly's directions, they're not great, but um, you find the uh, the entrance that he was talking about after a little bit of searching, and so that's where Jerry and Van are right now. I guess we just go right in. <laughs> you think that's a wise course? Is well, it, is, is it legal breaking into a temple? I mean, everyone out of in under gods. Huh? Well, um, how did ground? And 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 uh, Van kind of looks down at the uh, the place where like somebody hit him earlier, and and Jerry, or I'm sorry, uh, Melanie, kind of I guess worked on him a little bit during the fight, and uh, he'll kind of mess those bandages up in case they spot us. Just uh, pretend like I was injured and we're lost. All right. And, and uh, Jerry's gonna head in. <laughs> I do have a, uh, a viewer decision. Um, uh, just so here we go. So I think the viewer decision should be which cell is opened by York during his hallucination. Who is let out <laughs> of, oh, the, no. uh, of, their pa- of their padded cell? <clears throat> wow! And uh, welcome in Blue Jay and her raid. Welcome in, you guys. Uh, hey, Blue Jay's gonna be on in like an hour on Star Trek. Oh man, it's gonna be awesome. Welcome in. We're playing some Warhammer right now, and we have a viewer decision where you guys get to decide something which happens uh, underneath the sign in chat. So, uh, what was the line? Who is on the vision? Whose who cell in the in the sanatorium gets opened while York uh, experiences oh, his yeah. unholy vision? So York's <laughs> running. He's he's in the central corridor there. He's hallucinating that he's somewhere else with his family members dying. Uh, whose door does he open and let out? Um, <laughs> Jerry and Van are, are at the entrance. Uh, I'm sure I got to ride in, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sletch. See what happens. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, so it's like a, a set of sunk stairs that lead down in a door. And um, the door itself, you can tell, is lightly barred from the other side. It's not a heavy bar, it's just more like a, a latch that's uh, keeping it closed shut. <laughs> That's fucking bust that open. Alright. Somebody give me a strength check. Just a priest lock, so. Uh, I'm pretty strong. I am not that strong, though. Give me an ad over here, man. There's a crack as you uh, lean heavily against the floor and kick it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Puts a shoulder (laughs) to it. Right, Van barrels through That's, uh, it. Two degrees of success, <laughs> if it matters. Yeah. Uh, so the two of you pressing <laughs> against it uh, crack the door, and it, it uh, breaks off of the uh, the latch and swings open. Uh, and there is a dark tunnel um, 
The smell of it is musty, old. You can uh, occasionally get wafts of sewage uh, from somewhere down here, yeah. but you, know, I mean, you may or may not be familiar with the upper levels of the Undercity, which consist of like cellars and sewers and basements, all interconnected, that kind of thing. Uh, uh, staring in that tunnel. All right, just fucking go in. Make sure you all can. Mel ain't dead yet. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Are you going to be able to be fine uh, with the lack of light? Should we strike up a torch? Yeah, good idea. I'm like, all I've got right now is just my, my cigarette, which is, is all that Jerry needs. Um, but yeah, he'll, uh, he'll like strike up a torch. Or if Van, or if Van strikes up a torch, he'll, uh, he's happy to lead the way. All right. Have a look at The, uh, the tunnel runs straight for probably about a uh, hundred feet or so. There's several um, floor grates, like sort of arched floor grates that uh, if you look down in, you can see there's maybe a, another open space or something down there, but no obvious way of, of getting to it. Uh, and that is where the sewage is strongest. The sewage smell is strongest. Um, after about a hundred feet, it turns left and goes through a series of sort of uh, curved or not curved, but sort of, corners and, and, and clearly moving around something, bricked off walls uh, and sections that look like obviously new construction um, that you uh, pass by until you get to a stout wooden door that is bound uh, in iron. You are uh, sort of on the, sorry, I guess the outside of it. You can't see any hinges or, or latch or anything. Long-winded way of saying it's locked from the inside. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. it's fucking locked, isn't it? Mm. Yes. Would lock a door like that? Yeah, he'd give it an old Jimmy. <laughs> Absolutely we could. Uh, hmm. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, can I maybe like use my knowledge of engineering to see if there's uh, maybe a way to shift the door a little bit? Um. Like take out uh, like like a spike or something, and like try to lift the door or just shift it so we can maybe maybe push our way past it. Because a a a, a iron bound door is uh, just doesn't look good. Mm -hmm. We don't have a key. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at uh, picking locks, so yeah. Yeah, me neither. Let me see. Let me see if you can kind of like if you had a long enough lever, you might be able to like lift it off and then sort of push it out but with the tools you have right now just like spikes and a little hammer mm. uh you're not sure you do have enough gunpowder to blow at least one of its hinges off and weaken the door though uh do want to just give it a fucking shove see if it opens yes i'll uh i'll see if i can shove it open and i'll use an at 20 on that okay mm. i was gonna say otherwise it's a very hard uh task <laughs> 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 just gonna <laughs> give it, give it the old dwarven uh, gum. <laughs> <Drawn point. Yeah. laughs> Try. All right, yeah. Van, uh, I don't old, know. Why don't you tell us, tell us how this. Uh, tell us what this looks like. It's, you're like, mm, that's a stout iron door. <laughs> stout, iron, stout iron door. Mm, yes. And he 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 kind of takes his hammer and he taps on a few spots on the door. Up oh, there it is. And then he just like puts his shoulder into it and it like pops a hinge off or something. Um, <laughs> <laughs> learned that my 10th year. And if I hadn't failed three times, would have never learned it. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. Why you reread <laughs> books? You always pick things up the second, third, fourth, fifth, sometimes sixth, seventh time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's true. Pop it off of its uh, hinges enough to squeeze through uh, part of it and, and get inside the, uh, the hallway on the other side. Um, it, it had a you know a real thick uh, wooden beam sort of laid across it that you have to squeeze past. And uh, Van and Jerry find themselves in a a long corridor that goes both to their left and their right. Uh, frosted lamps light the way, but they're space maybe every 15 feet or so, so there's deep pools uh, of shadow between them. And it looks like in both directions there are 
uh, perpendicular hallways that lead down uh, further into wherever it is that you are. From the left-hand path, you can hear commotion and a racket uh, and all that, uh, uh, all that sort of business. That way. Mm, yes. Could be rat. I mean, sorry, York. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be a rat. <laughs> so it could be. <laughs> could be a fuck. That's a loud rat, right? <laughs> well, all the cats are dying. They're probably celebrating. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, all right. You travel down that way towards the commotion. Uh, York. You were, uh, let's see real quick. Your un unholy vision wears off and you sort of come out of, of its uh, otherworldliness and uh, find there's a figure, uh, a woman, uh, standing in front of you. She's wearing sort of like the frock uh, of a patient here. And um, it looks like she's standing in front of... Uh, the door that she, that I guess perhaps was her cell, and is scrawling something on the ground that you're uh, that you're not able to tell what it is. I kind of like blink a couple of times just to make sure this is real and what I'm seeing is real life. Now, you're, you can you can you hear me? I you a person? <sighs> Yes. She has a vacant but wild look. Uh, someone who looks like they've been through something harrowing. And um, human woman. Youngish, uh, as far as you can tell. But clearly someone who's borne a lot of uh, burdens. And she also has uh, many fresh scars that are uh, in the process of healing as well. On her arms, her face, and you can tell like her shoulders. Uh, as well. Everything Pretty okay there? What, what, what you write in there? Can I, can I see what she's reading from upside down? Uh, she's um, taking what looks like some, some grease from the door hinges and, and uh, started to draw a, a Sigmarite hammer just on the floor. Um, and she's muttering something to herself. Are they hurting you in here? Is is everything okay? Have you got? I I can let you go. You can go to your family, or I have to get back to him. To he's he's lost without me. Lost. Yeah. Did you let me I, out? I got. Look, I I've I've got no beef with you. You've got no beef with me. Like. I'm just looking for another fella. You're you're clearly not a dwarf. We've got no, we got no problem here. But are you, are you going to be okay if I let you out? A apparently, yeah. there's something nasty brewing in this place, and tales of things from underneath us. It's 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 all very, it's all very folklorish. Don't don't worry yourself. And chaos has followed me here. And she kind of like is looking at something that's not there. Are you one of the? You, you a mage? Not a mage. Uh, a Templar, a witch hunter. <laughs> she stands. Well. She stands up, uh, and you can tell that as she stands up, she's a you know carries herself with the. Uh, the bearing of, a, of, of someone who knows how to fight. She's thick. <laughs> Wait, is this your dress that's happening? Yeah. <laughs> what I miss? What I miss? I gotta know. So there's there's someone there's several other uh, people in in the hallway who are like pounding on their doors and screaming and the like. And as uh, both Jerry and Van sort of round a corner, you come upon York in the motley. Uh, no mask, and, and there's a, a human woman who has many scars, uh, wearing like a, a patient's frock, just like a burlap uh, coat, basically. Um, 
And she just stands up. She was drawing something, scrawling something on the floor. Um, and uh, she sees you as you round the corner. Uh, I'm, this... yeah, I love... I, 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 I'm not a witch. I, I mean, there's there's no witches here. It, it, it's, it's all okay. Um, look, if, if you don't Could cause you us any... Not... They locked you in these these fucking nuns. Those men. They're... She like no 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 Hungarian no. man and as if <laughs> I like that. No 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 no. Her, they're, they're... her fist falls up. <laughs> yeah. No 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 no. They're here. To, they're here to help you. Um. There's. Well, thank you. There's these people that <laughs> look. Just head out the door and run till you get outside, and you you should probably. Yo, keep made a friend. Who is this? It is I'm the this... abyss. Well, no, I'm, I'm not an abyss. My name is uh, Yidris. Yidris. It's, it's, yes. a, it's a pleasure to meet you, Yidris. Well, Jerry. That's my name. Jerry. <laughs> like, every time that Jerry speaks, York's like doing the cross throat thing, like, yeah. don't say a fucking thing. <laughs> um, and. <laughs> Are we to escape? Are you rescuing me? Did did Matthias send you? Am I? Oh yeah, he did, love. He? he sent you. He sent us, and we're here to save you. Yes. It, you, yeah, your 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 husband. Yeah, Ma, your husband Matthias. He um, is your husband or your son? Yeah, boyfriend. No, he's or not. My All right. It's no savior. Yes, yeah, def definitely. He 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 sent for you. Um, he he okay. said he was. Uh, give me a town like three hundred miles away. That's not gonna <laughs> like be well out of my way. Uh, Noln. He he said he'd meet you in Noln. Go, go to the inn there. There's a really classy place, and um and wait under the moon door. Yes. That's strange, though. He would. Always come himself. Something must be wrong. And she uh, starts to go towards the way that uh, Jerry and Van went. Remember the moon door? Um, yeah. Matthias will be there. Good good old Matthias will save the day again. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> no. Right. <laughs> See you later. Fucking and she, uh, she walks off down uh, back the way that, that, that uh, Van and... Uh, and Jerry came. Um, so it's the three of you in this uh, corridor here, and there are at least three other cells that the patients in them are screaming, cackling, banging on the doors, um, that sort of thing. They're making like, quite a ruckus. York will, York will oh, like, go back to his cell, so he's kind of standing in the uh, doorway of where he was, and he'll kind of use his ear, he'll step along, and he's like, this was the shouter. This was the banger. This one was rolled. He's in here, uh, and he'll point towards the door. Yeah, there's just a, 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 oh, a, a, okay. a slight cackling coming from beyond. <laughs> Hello, Rome. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, fucking that job. Oh. <laughs> you want a, He's, do you want a drink? Drink. Yes, we'll, 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 you'll not trick me with a drink. <laughs> <laughs> what are we laughing for? I love him. I don't know when yeah, he sure. laughs. I laugh. It just sets me off. It's infectious. Yes, I, uh, <laughs> yes, I tried to trick you. Yes, you, you, you found me out. Yeah. Do you remember an old dwarf, white hair? You know about the Undercity? The white dwarf? Yes. Yes. I remember. He escaped. He I escaped. escaped. He escaped. Of course, he escaped. Who <laughs> oh, fucking did? <laughs> Are you here? You're here to finish the job, aren't you? Yes, I will. The job. I welcome my death. And you just hear him. There's a loud pounding from the other side of the door as something heavy is. Slamming up against it. Fucking crazy is. Does it sound like it's his head? Maybe. Sounds like it's his head. Hmm. 
There's what a bar in front of it, right? Like you could easily open the door in front of you if you wanted. Um, hmm. We're gonna go. Yes, we. We're really going for it then. <laughs> All right, okay. be prepared. I'm gonna try to uh, open this so he doesn't kill himself. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I'm gonna lift the bar and like open the door. I try okay. to time it so he was like gonna hit his head, so maybe he'll just like fall over, so he d- he can't like charge out or anything. Sure, um, sure. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. I'll just kind of yank the door open. Yeah. Um, as you yank the door open, we're gonna cut back to Melanie. Melanie, <laughs> you were uh-huh. in the temple. Um, you were gonna stay in there after these uh, voices uh, that you heard conversing. Their f- sound of footsteps not long after that uh, fade into the distance. And uh, you're left with the impression that you're alone in the temple. Um, I think she'd um, she'd had to further in, try to find any any sort of papers, any sort of information. Okay, uh, go ahead and make me a stealth roll uh, for this, which is just your half of your agility if you're not trained in stealth. Or that's what your that's what your skills capped up. Uh, shadows give you a plus okay. twenty bonus to that. All right, yeah, half of my agility twenty one. Half of your agility plus ten. This is how it'll work. 31. Oh! oh. <laughs> so just barely. <coughs> so it's not quite a, it, it's not, not quite a success and, and just barely a failure. Um, <laughs> but you are sneaking along and, and just, you know, you, you keep stepping into the light uh, as you do. But um, you think that uh, that you see someone further along this uh, dormitory hallway that uh, that you've entered into is up ahead. And for a brief moment, they turn their head back and look in your general direction. Um, what do you, uh, what does Melanie do? Um, you, s- you said there are lots of rooms. Can she duck into one and watch? Yeah, there's like a, a sort of like a, um, a sunken in doorway. There's like a small, maybe a foot uh, recessed into the wall that you could duck into uh, if you wanted to. Or you could try to like actually get in the room if you wanted. They're not locked. Let, let's go in the room. She's pretty tall. <laughs> okay. All right. So Melanie ducks into uh, the room. It is an empty uh, dormitory. There are um, six bunk beds in here as well as six small uh, or sorry, twelve small uh, desks. It looks like a, uh, you know, all the beds are made, all the the foot lockers are, are stored away nicely. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what you see as you duck in here. Mm-hmm. I I think she would uh, just pretend like she belongs as the uh, as the footsteps approach. See uh, see what becomes of it. Mm-hmm. Um, walking back towards the way, walking towards, I guess, where you were coming from, you see a uh, a Shalyan nun who is in a uh, her the habit that she wears uh, seems a bit more ceremonial than the others that you've seen. Um, she has a, a stern face, an older woman, and um, she peeks into the uh, the room, notices that the door is open and just uh, shuts it behind her as she uh, passes along through the uh, through the corridor. And you can hear her footsteps uh, just outside the door. She- Nell is deep in the, uh, <laughs> in the uh, <laughs> into the complex sneaking about. <laughs> Uh, I think she'd stay still until she heard the uh, the footsteps uh, walk off, but continue to press further. She's she thinks something. She doesn't a hundred percent believe uh, Van's dad, but she she feels like something's up. Mm-hmm. You um stay there for for a while and uh, waiting for the footsteps to uh, to fade, and, and it seems as though someone's pacing up and down this corridor because they'll sort of fade and come back, fade and come back. 
Um, how long do you wait? Mm. She's patient, but not that patient. Um, she might eventually... Um, would there be like any robes or anything she could throw on to try and blend in? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, there's uh, all wardrobes and, and foot lockers in the room that, uh, and they're, they don't lock anything in, in this portion of the uh, temple complex. Um, so yes, there are disguises available if you're uh, trying to get out. Yeah, let's let's throw one on, see if we can okay. uh, enter the hallway. Um, okay. to, I do want to keep pressing my luck. I'd probably keep heading towards what I was heading to. <laughs> <laughs> Just now in a disguise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Why? Not? Why not? Why um, not? Let's see. Disguise. I don't know if there's actually a disguise skill. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's sort of. It'll be a. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to see real quick because I don't think that there's actually a disguise. But there's obviously a disguise for uh, for Mel. Uh, so you put on one of the uh, habits. And what? Step outside? Wait, wait. Uh, how do you uh, go about doing this? Um, she, she's familiar with how they how they walk, how they carry herself. So it, it's a little it's a little wobbly, but uh, she, she she walks and step towards uh, where the conversation was happening previously. Mm -hmm. Eyes darting probably more than they should. But. <laughs> yeah. You uh, step out into the hallway and, and begin walking, and there uh, doesn't seem to be anyone out there at the moment. Um, whether, you know, wherever the person pacing back and forth was, uh, you don't see them at the uh, as you step out into the hall. So you're gonna go back, go deeper in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Molly continues her uh, uh, infiltration. Of the uh, <laughs> Chilean temple. Now, eventually, the two have the two wings of the temple uh, meet towards the back, towards the north end of the uh, of the temple complex. Uh, and so, you're headed towards uh, the north end of the dormitories. You know that there are uh, several staircases that you pass by that lead up, as well as uh, other dorms that you um, you know that you that you pass. Uh, do you? Try to get to the other wing and, and find a way back to the infirmary, going upstairs. Uh, where's uh, Where are you headed? She She's interested in this main nun, so she'd probably be looking for uh, either her room or, you know, even if she could get nearby, see if there's anything funny going on or figure out where these other nuns might be. If there is, she, she wants to get eyes on these people that his father was talking about. Okay, um, your I the your best bet is on the second story. Okay. Um, that's that's probably where you know their their quarters are. Um, and you pass by, like I said, several uh, staircases that lead up to the second story. All right, uh, let's let's take the second one. She's trying to seem inconspicuous. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> trying. Try. Uh, Melly takes the second staircase and uh, it spirals up and uh, sort of deposits you in, in a, an intersection of two corridors. You could either go um, sort of east or south. And it but looks like both would end, you would end up, uh, there's doors along the wall. East would put you above the infirmary and south would put you back, going back towards the temple. Uh, that's the general layout of the place. Let's uh, let's go east. Okay. Um, let's see here. Sneaking along east. Go ahead and give me another stealth roll. Now that we're on this, another floor. <laughs> Some time has passed. So you can hear <laughs> the uh, you can hear the partying going on outside. It's sort of beginning to die down, but there's still a great big. Uh, celebration along the main street that the uh, Jolian Temple uh, faces. And um, the only other thing that you really tell as you're sneaking along here is that you can hear that it sounds like more people are, are entering into the, dorm, the dorms downstairs. Um, mm -hmm. As you sneak along, you pass by several uh, 
several smaller doors that lead to uh, interior rooms. Um, these might be bedrooms, these might be other offices or uh, administrative uh, rooms of some kind. Uh, I'd have her wander into uh, the nicest looking office, or the most well-kept office. Most well-kept office, all right. Um, give me just a second. <laughs> So you, <laughs> you're kind of like peeking into to rooms and, and and trying to get an idea of, of which one looks the most well kept and the most uh, perhaps important, and you are uh, you find yourself in a a sort of anteroom, like a, not quite a waiting room or a or a pre office uh, sort of thing. There's like a uh, a small a desk. Lobby. Yeah, like a little lobby, a small desk, and, and several chairs. It looks like this might be a, a room where they entertain or, or talk to people. There's a door at the far end of the room that uh, is made of fine wood uh, and innate carving on it. Uh, you can just get the sense that this is a an inner office of some kind. Um... Let's see. She's she's very good at, at read write and in any common languages in the area. I'd have her pick up the first uh, first bit of paperwork she finds. Okay. As you're uh, rummaging around, some of it, 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 most of the books in here are books of poetry or songs uh, devoted to Shalya, holy texts and uh, hagiographies, things like that. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything particularly. Um, informative here. Looks more devotional in this room. Mm -hmm. Are there any uh, locked uh, locked cabinets or anything that looks suspicious? Uh, there's nothing like that in in uh, in, in this one. It's more of a, like I said, a sitting room. Okay. We head towards the main office. Okay. It appears to be locked. <laughs> mm. I don't know if I have any any particular skills in that. Um, mm -hmm. Another like a, a, a pick locks. Or otherwise, you might. Yeah. It, it doesn't feel like a solid lock. Uh, she might try to use her her dagger to try and see if she can jimmy it open. I guess. Okay. Okay. That that um, would be the best she could do. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make me a difficult strength roll. That's a, at minus 10 to your strength. All right, so 26. Yeah, first <laughs> attempt. Uh, no, uh, no luck. You can keep trying mm -hmm. or uh, do something else. Let's try once more. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Three. Okay. Right. <laughs> Second try uh, pops the uh, pops the lock right out. Uh, minimal damage to the uh, to the door, and um, you can see that inside is a uh, an elaborate office with a uh, what looks like a large window that uh, you can tell looks down onto the temple. Uh, sort of like worked into the frescoes and and uh, paintings that are on the the inside of the interior of the temple, sort of like looking down uh, from that uh, vantage point. And uh, a large desk is uh, in the center of the room, facing the doorway. Let's go straight for the desk. Okay. Um, while Melanie is searching through the desk and rummaging through it, our three gentlemen uh, down in the sanatorium below. Um, you, Van opens the door, and an emaciated, long-haired, uh, untrimmed nails, just filthy, and more importantly, foul-smelling human, pitches forward and lands like flat on the uh, cobblestone floor, or tiled floor of the sanatorium. <laughs> Free. Yeah. All right, are you Zavo and Yidris? Oh, yeah. The, the woman they brought in earlier. Yeah. Oh. You don't know her. 
This one's rolled. This this was the fella that our friend was talking about. Ah. I think he's not talking much sense in here. I think we need to maybe get Mel to look at him, calm him down a bit. Um, is you there like is there like a did. bag or a, a gag around? A bag <laughs> or a gag? Uh, or specifically both? <laughs> um, not that you can I see. There's good. there's nothing like in the in the halls here or anything. He is um, in in another one of these patients' frocks. That uh, you know, there's a lot of it if you want to tear some of it off. But there's nothing. Uh, I, nothing I'm in the guessing hall. it's covered in the way he's smelling. I don't think I want to touch anything he owns. He's the the his clothes are clean. This seems more like a uh, part of him. He just. <laughs> smells he smells okay. musky and like ammonia like uh, an old litter box or uh, a house that has too many pets in it Va van take off one of your socks oh we don't need to make it worse um but okay he takes off a sock i will jam that into his mouth um, okay maybe <laughs> use maybe using a stick or something so he doesn't bite me uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then I will make a like I'll use part of a taut discarded piece of garment or whatever just to make him a makeshift hood or something like that. Uh, he is right, and remarkably it's... pliant and does not resist at all. Uh, he flinches a bit as you come close to him, like he does not. Uh, he seems to really not want to be touched, but offers like no resistance whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I probably do this all the time. Um, we're gonna get you out of here, so just be careful. Be quiet. <laughs> He's got the. <laughs> oh, you, you said I thought Mel was with you, mate. Where's she gone? <laughs> there, there was a thing, and I used my way to get here, and I, I imagine she's probably. Having a drink by now, letting me do all the work. It, it's kind of how the things shape out. So I imagine she's probably back at the wolf's head. She's, she's chilling out. She's wasting everyone's time. All right. Come on in, bro. Let's get you um, out of here, Sam. How safe was the way out? It was hey, pretty clear. Yeah. Pretty clear, real. Yeah. I'm, so you, I'm going to go take... Oh, sorry. I'm going to okay. shut all the doors to make it look like mm -hmm. nobody's left. Okay. Uh, so that's three doors shut. And um, what uh, what next? And actually, I'm going to check in Rold's door or in his room right, right quick. Does there, does he write? Did he write anything on the walls? Did he? Is there anything in there? Yeah. Um, there is a. Nothing on the walls as you uh, as you uh, check them, but there's some of the the padding has been sort of torn. Like I said, he has nails that are well in need of a trim uh, and a clean, and some of the padding is torn and the like. But there's nothing that's on the the walls or ceiling. The padding on what his bed? The wall, like there's. Uh, Oh, sort of okay. like str stuffed straw, I guess. Uh, something to keep oh, them okay. safe. The Shalians have a, a rather advanced uh, conception of, of sort of all sorts of medical practice, uh, and so they, you know, they understand that people will hurt themselves. But you know, they do. How, they how many cells would I know would have been empty? Like I know there was the one with Yidris in, and the one that was banging. Are there many that I've not heard anything from, or I can have a peek through and see are empty? Yeah, correct. There's, there's, you can. There's the sliding uh, view, yeah. view windows on them. And most of them are empty. Can I see any with sp specifically blood or any, any sign of um, Van's dad having been kept in one of these? Um, let's see. If you, I mean, there's like six of them that are empty. Do you check them all to to sort of see, to see? 
I will have a quick, as long as like there's no sounds of people coming in, I think we seem to be, I, I will take the time to have a peek because I'm hoping like either his stuff's here, either their stuff might be stored here, just like something to unfog this mystery a little bit more. Gotcha. So, uh, so while Van is, is checking uh, Rold's room, who, uh, and then Jerry, what's, uh, what's Jerry up to? I'll take a look at his interesting room, see what she had. Okay, take a look at that. Uh, is who's watching rolled? I don't. Uh, I mean, I'm just right there next to him. So <laughs> wait a I'm minute. Look who's around watching? Room and keep an eye. Keep uh, an eye on you it. turn. Yeah, as you turn around, he's like super close. Uh, York, uh, he's like sidled right up to you. York, um, you're going along checking the other rooms, the viewport in them, and um, there are. There's another one that smells similar to uh, to Rold's cell. Uh, I'll, I'll pop it open and have a look inside. Okay. Um, it's empty-ish. You know, there's some straw on the floor, uh, a ring uh, set into a metal plate where they could uh, chain someone if they needed to. Um, no, nothing on the walls or, or no damage to anything. It, it has a musty sort of sewage smell uh, in here, but it's not nearly as strong as Rold's. Um, and that's what you uh, that's what you're able to get. Did I notice that smell on Van's dad? Did it smell so yeah, he, he had, had the it. same odor? Yeah, he did. You, I think your dad was kept in this one. It, Smells like shit as well. Mm. <laughs> what if they're doing some uh, experiments on them? Give them this it's... um this odor. I mean, I, d- I don't know how Why? long I've been here. <laughs> Why don't they do that? It's messed up, that is. I agree. It's very messed up. <laughs> I'm just searching I, I Idris's we... room to see if there's anything I can nick. <laughs> just going to full I... nick everything. <laughs> <laughs> These rooms are pretty bare. Her room has a lot of like uh, fanatical Sigmarite stuff written in in like uh, door hinge grease on those tiles and the like. There's hammers and twin tailed comets. Um, that Sigmar uh... chicks are fucking crazy, mate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jerry, she she was a witch hunter. You, you don't even know what she would have done. I know done a witch, if... mate. What well, I give a shit. You know that I've 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 dabbled in some less legal activities. Yeah, but you know Oh oh, does that mean you're a witch? So I th- I think everyone like <laughs> I, I can talk pops out. To... <laughs> He's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, fuck told me he was a witch, mate. <laughs> I, I... One of those witchies. <laughs> Stop using that word. That's our word. It... I... I've dabbled. You you know, that's, that's kind of why Gouda kept me around, because... Yep, just keep it a fucking secret. And you shouldn't have even fucking known he's pointing at Van. This is my secret. You don't fucking get this. We all were talking out loud, so I assumed it wasn't uh, that big of a deal. Shut the fuck up and let's go back to your crazy father. Who fucking stinks of shit and's bleeding everywhere. T- t- today's not our fucking day. Well, uh, he can take a what, shower. Can... You'll still be a witch in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use that. Fu- <laughs> I swear to fucking Rude. God, if you use that word again. Bad yeah. things happen. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Oops. Oh Wrong one. God. Wrong one. Um, all right. So you guys are down in here. You, you know, <laughs> these cells are mostly empty. They, they're not really allowed to take a lot of stuff in here. Um, you know, there's not really a lot of places to hide things uh, as well. Um, how long are you going to stay down in here? Well. Yeah, I, I think okay. once... Once everyone's done their check, unless anyone's got anything else to do, we're going to kind of try and sneak back, bring him with us, of course. Okay. Um, Then uh, go ahead and make me uh, stealth rolls for that, for everybody, and uh, as you make your way back through. And Melanie. Mm Mm-hmm. 
you are in uh, this room. There's, it's very dark, but uh, you know that's not an uh, an issue for uh, for you. Wow, fan. <laughs> um, <laughs> By the way, I needed a ten or lower. Jeez, for my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I thought someone sneezed. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> He's just really, uh, really good at it. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so what is uh, what is Melly looking for? There are two large wardrobes in here uh, on the wall, sort of like flanking the uh, the window. A desk in the middle, and and lots of chairs throughout, uh, as well as several other tables. It looks like a in a, an office of uh, of someone important and uh, influential. Hmm. Let's uh, let's check the wardrobes. Actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Le left side or right side? Let's go uh, left first. Yeah. Uh, in the left wardrobe, there is um, a. A row of about six or seven uh, ceremonial robes, habits, shawls, all sorts of uh, g sacred garments uh, and the like. They, uh, they're sort of hanging from uh, pegs along the back of it. And then down one side of the wardrobe are little shelves which have other smaller uh, like gloves and shawls and things like that um, uh, stored on them. It's not crowded. There's plenty of space on the uh, shelves to sort of see, see things. And she'd be able to see to the back of it. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, see nothing hinking. Okay. She'd nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. And it looks like the back of it butts up against the outside wall of the temple anyway. Um, moving over to the uh, to the other one. Mm -hmm. This one's locked. Oh, boy. Let's, uh, let's see if we can uh, delicately. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> With your oh. dagger again, <laughs> yeah. yeah the, <laughs> this one's not any. Uh, this, there, it's not particularly uh, challenging or difficult to do, but uh, it, it is stuck fast as it's a well-made lock. You can attempt uh, it again or do something else. Yeah. Let's uh, let's check the desk and try to come back to that in a minute. Okay. Um, getting to the desk. Uh, there are some papers on top of it. Look like, looks like a ledger of some kind that's uh, folded up and uh, sitting on the desk. And then there are uh, a set of drawers that run down one side. This is very well-made, like uh, finely crafted uh, desk here. Uh, what's, the, uh, what's the ledger about? The ledger looks like uh, it's some sort of log, a disciplinary log for the nuns here. Uh, there's like a list of names and uh, sort of infractions and the like, as well as a list of orderlies that work in the infirmary uh, and uh, sort of who they are when they were hired and for what reason they were disciplined. Uh, I don't remember if Melanie knew, uh, knew the, the young man's name. I don't think he said it until they got him back to the thing, did he? Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. No, okay. he never said his name to um, the tavern. Hmm. Uh, see, she'd want to see what name is repeated the most. Somebody that had been in the most trouble. Mm, mm, good. There is a. Uh, there are several nuns that have that <laughs> seem to have been uh, particularly. <laughs> Unruly Bruna uh, Leonardo or two that uh, that you see as as having infractions. Ido is kicked out of the uh, of the priestesshood entirely for uh, fornication, um, <laughs> and then <laughs> there is uh, other uh, some of the orderlies whose names come up a lot are uh, Eisenbert, who uh, uh, was uh, several infractions for drunkenness, um, uh, Wallow, <laughs> who. Uh, <laughs> who uh, oh uh, who was actually admitted to the sanitarium for uh, for uh, all they described it as in the ledger it's just simply described as perversion um, and then uh, Otmar was particularly rough with some of the patients um, but he is still uh, on staff at the uh, at the infirmary okay 
Uh, let's, uh, let's start opening the drawers. Mm-hmm. Um, you open the first one, and it's a, a lot of um, wax stamps and seals and the like. There is a, a small uh, tin, or, or it looks like maybe tin or silver, or some kind of precious metal uh, box that's, uh, that's in there. Let's open it. Okay. Um, as <laughs> Melanie open it, there is a, uh, a maybe about a, a teaspoon or so of a dark greenish powder that's uh, that's in the box. Um, it reminds you of like uh, the same color as like uh, like an emerald as it catches the light. Is it a is it a chemical, a plant, or a medicine? Ooh, that's a good question. What sort of skills do you have that might be relevant here? I I have a little bit of all of that. <laughs> gotcha. Um, but uh, but yeah. I would recognize a medicine or a plant before a chemical. Ah, it is not a medicine or a plant. Hmm. I have five points in chemicals, so I'm not completely. Inept at it. Uh, hmm. <laughs> and I know very little about poisons. So. Yeah. I mean, you can always uh, roll and see if maybe you just uh, pick something up or. Uh, or yeah. Uh, oh. uh, I could wait. <laughs> she, she, she's intuitive uh, so with it being in her thing I've got 42 for that let's see if All right. <laughs> 42 <laughs> um, you are not you have a hunch you're pretty sure okay that you know uh, what this might be. There are a variety of uh, magical substances that are used for medicinal medicinal purposes, and some of them uh, have unpleasant origins uh, and <laughs> are, are illegal, highly illegal within the Empire. You think, you think that you were looking at uh, a drug made out of one of those substances. Uh, what particular substance it is and what uh, its exact nature is, is, is you're going to need to either experiment with it or uh, try some. But um, there's something about it. It's not a medicine. It's not a plant. It, it seems like it's something more uh, sinister. Um, mm, let's pocket it for now. Okay. And as you pocket it, you can hear the voice, two voices rather, Coming down the hall, one of them you recognize from earlier as uh, the voice who had asked for a, a certain doctor. The other one is a uh, a more even-paced, even-toned voice that Mel recognizes as someone from the Physician's Guild. In fact, Mel recognizes it as the head of the Physician's Guild. And that is where we're gonna uh, leave off this uh, this session, folks. With uh, <laughs> with Van, Jerry, Ooh. and York having escaped from the sanatorium, and Mel deep within the temple complex, <laughs> and hearing uh, two voices approaching, uh, and Molly off somewhere. Who who knows where Molly is? Uh, so. uh, she's, she's drunk <laughs> somewhere. She's at a party somewhere. She's like, why is everybody? Flirts <laughs> with some boy. What's the big deal? Oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah. boy, boy. Amazing. Well, 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 my friends. Uh, that's where we're going to end tonight's session. If you enjoyed the show, let us know. If you haven't followed the show yet, hit the follow button and join us and stick around. We're giving away a set of tabletop loot dice, and then we're heading into our Star Trek Deep Space Five game. So stick with us for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but let's go on the cast and crew. Did we enjoy ourselves? Where can we find you guys online? Jim Davis. Uh, sorry, Jim fucking Davis, son. How is that? Uh, it's great. It's great to be back. Uh, I, I'm glad. Uh, you know, a week off is nice, but uh, the gaming, it's uh, its good for the soul. Uh, and I miss you guys as well. So it's good to be back. Aww. It's good to delve into a bit of this mystery. And uh, as, as usual, you guys threw me a curveball, and I appreciate the, the chance to exercise my creativity and improv. Um, so I love this game. I love playing with you guys and can't wait for uh, next week. Absolutely. 
Great stuff. And Cherry, how was that? I, I, I love getting into Treble, and here we are. Uh, speaking of Treble, I've been uh, playing the GTA roleplay again. Uh, totally not doing even more illegal things there, so check me out at Cherry Babam at Twitch. I'll be on tomorrow, more than likely. <laughs> Worse than stealing into a nunnery. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> actually, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great stuff. Uh, and Pruitt, how is that? Oh, man, uh, it's good to be back. Uh, it's good to be back in the world of Warhammer. Uh, I can't wait to see where this all goes. I have my suspicions, but uh, I have to come back next week. Hopefully we'll have Charlie back and get the, get the band back together. Uh, mm. I'm Pruitt, one half of WebDM. We got our new video, just came out in the middle of the show, so go check that out if you want to check out Astral Dreadnoughts. Uh, they're fun. And, uh, you know, going to have another game here about 7 o'clock on Earthly Twilights over on our Twitch channel. Uh, and, uh, you know, my game is on Tuesday nights on WebDM Twitch, uh, Starward Bounce, Spelljammer, Funness. So, uh, until next week, y'all have a good one. Awesome. <laughs> and last and the most least, Gareth. Oh, man, this is so fucking fun. Like, any time I have any time away and you come back, you're like, oh, God, why Why did we have time off? Like, just <laughs> being out, like, it, it's such a fucking contrast to where we were last season, but I'm having so much fucking fun with it. Will, you're, you're a fucking master. Just, like, the words that you make up, and you, like, as soon as you put that thing in your mouth, you're like, you're in your role. You're an absolute arsehole, and it, it fits so well. Uh, I, I really don't have anything to shout out. Uh, Guys, check out WebDM's new stuff. Like, they've just filmed a whole bunch of new stuff, and the way Jim's talking about it, he's super excited. I think they've got about two or three episodes just based on me, uh, so check those ones out first. Um, but also, Will's doing some fucking amazing work at the moment. Thank you. Like, all the support for the channel is You're amazing. Welcome. All the donations, we love you. Uh, thank you for being here and watching That's with right. us. All of the work I am doing is fantastic, also, and you're all welcome Will for it. Will, Will is cosplaying as me from 10 years ago. Just just saying. Although not. <laughs> so in the Discord, at least. You have to share the photo. Oh, man. Oh, but oh, yes. I, for, I, I forgot. forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Oh, sorry. Thank sorry. You. I forgot. I will be on roll up this uh, Friday. I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm yeah, a bad. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow at yeah. five. Stuff. Jim is yeah. doing character creation with, uh, with Charlie here in Encounter Roleplay. So yeah. uh, stick around for that. In fact, it's a double episode of roll up because uh, after. Jim and Charlie are done. I'm jumping on to talk about a cool new D&D supplement with Charlie. So, uh, but yes, uh, we're going to head off for Star Trek Deep Space. Five. Thank you guys so much for watching. Big, big thank you again to Zen for that huge donation. Thank you, my friend. Uh, but we'll be back next week. Oh, it's not. Yeah, I thought it was Thursday. Friday. <laughs> I know what day it is. Uh, but until next time, my friends, try and throw too many net ones. <laughs> we want to be there laughing when you do. Good night, everybody. Go to the sanatorium. See your friends. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha